Um, Layers of Fear is a unique, immersive game experience in which every decision affects the narrative. As in life, it is it is the doors that you open, the memories that you make that you take with you, and the shadows you explore that will define who you are. This may be our game, but it's your journey. So look everywhere if you want the whole story is what I got from that, right? I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. Hey. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. Self motivator. Gotcha. Every portrait that is painted with feeling a portrait of art is not the sitter. Oscar Wilde. Picture of Dorian Gray. Yeah, you deserve feeling lost, alone, and depressed. Well, I don't know. I've done some epically horrible things in my life, so yeah, you're probably right. Okay, there is a hand over the... I was just going to say it's a basket that goes on in front of a bite, but that's like a dog muzzle, right? Like, they make dog muzzles now that are kind of like... Um, leashes and stuff like that. I don't think they make them like that anymore. And I'm assuming this is not nowadays, right? Oh, no. It opens like this? Hmm. A very unique gift, you guess. Gave her eel. Now, hold on. Let's... Let's be the devil's advocate here. If an artist gives you his ear, which is something he uses the least amount on his entire body, I'm not sure that that's a good gift. She should have insisted on having one of his hands. I'm just saying, if she wanted to match his kind of crazy. That's a psychopath. Don't do that. Space bar. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, dear sir, we would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialist as well as refrain from sending us any more of, of your highly inappropriate letters. I'll have you know that I that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations. Did he call his mother as a bee? You're not supposed to do that. All of your all of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of rodent infestation of any kind and as such decided not to act further with prophylactic spraying Proph did I say that right I don't know please treat this letter as a final warning or else the next envelope you receive will be from our lawyer with best regards Carl Denton pesky pest pacification the PPP company the PP company <laughs> yeah, all right um how, do, how does one not look at the letter anymore? Okay. I thought I heard someone singing. Do, do we not comment on the stuff and thing, things we find? Eh. Okay, is this... I'm assuming this is family. Can I turn the picture over? Do we have writing on the back? No, I guess not. All right. Oh no, we can open all of the things. Who wants to play some dominoes? An artist triumph gallery openings wow critics. Some call him the new Caravaggio. I don't know who that is. Other that compare him to Venick, and one awestruck critic who wished to refrain un to remain unnamed went as far as to invoke the spirit of the great Leonardo. Any way you slice it, the exhibi exhibition proved an immense success. Distinct Style has been praised for its unique combination of Renaissance influence and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event in the company of his beautiful fiancée, looking stunning in her black gown, revealed to us exclusively that the couple are indeed expecting. How old was this? Because if they were... If she was expecting, wouldn't they be married already? Depending on the date, wouldn't that be kind of a scandal? How dare they? Sir, I didn't touch the workshop. We... Uh, hold on. Just like you asked, although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Sassy. Okay, can I open these? Oh, that goes down to a basement. You know what? It's sufficiently creepy up here. I'll wait. Uh, 
are we gonna have to solve puzzles? Because that might be important. Ooh, I'm getting into people's stuff and things. This is a cool game already. I'm <laughs> Let's just go ahead and drink coffee and judge people. Hang on. I'm sorry for yesterday. You were right. I overreacted. It's just that this isn't about me. It's about her. Everything I do, I do with her best interest in mind. I guess I've always believed that I'm... That in a perfect world, it's worth to strive for perfection. Uh, now I'm starting to sound like my father. I will work on my temper, I promise. Though, promise, we'll talk later. I love you. Okay. A pipe, some war trophies. This can't be my house. That, that thing is not full. Uh, someone's clothes. Why would someone's clothes be in the lobby, though? Well, not lobby. What is this? I'm not sure what this is called. It's a mansion. Oh, there. That needs a key. And someone's... Is that actually someone singing or is that background music? Ah. Um... I have actually got a reflection like that. I'm a dude! Uh, one below knee prosthetic. How the hell did they... How did they mess up the length? That's what she said? Why did you... Why was this note put on here, though? That's like a cool bathtub right there. My bad. Uh, can I flush the toilet? I can flush the toilet. 10 out of 10. Wait, I didn't actually do anything, though. Uh, I've been robbed. Rat poison. Effective when used as bait poison, water poison, tracking poison. Active ingredient alpha nephithib. Scientists just make crap up and you can't throw together three vowels like that. Stick one consonant and throw some more vowels on. That's not a word. Diatomaceous sart. Whatever. Color pigment water, water beta. See, they did it again. That's just, that's not a word. There's three vowels, a consonant, and two more vowels. That's not a word. You can't do that. Okay, so are we saying that my character has a prosthetic? Can I see that? It's a leg. You can actually hear the different cadence in the walk. Cool. Oh, I can zoom in. Holy heck, I've got zoomy eyeballs. Oh, dude, look at the food. No, they wine. I figured you'd be up all night, so I made you a little treat, you know. I bet even Rimrat occasionally took time off from being brilliant and snored his head off like the rest of us common folk. I know, gasp. In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. Love you. How long has this food been sitting here? Because, like, a cucumber would not be good very long. This is a snack. This looks like a whole bunch of stuff on top of some dirty things and stuff. They're like bad paper underneath it. Sugar and spice and, and paprika? Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> Turn your headphones up to 80%. I would hope you hear something. Uh, yeah. I turned it up pretty loud. I don't know exactly what time period this is, but this looks... I don't know, 50s? Maybe even well before that? I have no idea. I didn't know that there was storage underneath these. Is one of these an oven? Is this an oven? I guess you put the wood here, huh? I really like this right here. That's cool. You dry the herbs and hang up your stuff and things. Uh, hit it. Paprika? They really like their paprika! Good grief! Paprika does not even have that much of a flavor. What is going on here? Okay, okay, just the normal stuff and things. A whole bunch of stuff drying, some apples. I don't see anything crazy in here besides an unhealthy obsession with paprika. Is it just me? Maybe it's just the paprika I buy, but does paprika have very much of a flavor? It tastes just kind of bitterish to me, and that's it. Okay, so we checked that room, we checked that room, and we still have a basement. Hold on, before we go into the basement, just because basement seems creepy, let's... Okay, I've seen him on Sleeping Beauty. Can 
can tell a lot from a person by what kind of art they keep up on their walls. I mean, he is supposed to be an artist, right? So you would figure he would surround himself with what he thinks is really good art? I question your tastes, sir. I'm not going in there. <laughs> Been working all night. They don't wake me up. Okay. All right. Well, I won't be waking anybody up, but I didn't make that big boom. So that wasn't me. Is it just me or there are a lot of bottles everywhere? That's creepy too. Was it that that fell over? It sounded like it came from over there. True story behind the picture of Dorian Gray. Was it all true? Dorian Gray's name was there before. What, what did it say about Dorian Gray earlier? Can I seriously not turn anything over? Oh, I can turn it over. Okay. An astounding investigation by Professor Alistar R. Malmax from the... Can I see that? Can I zoom in after I pick something up? Because I've got bad vision, please. So someone was trying to figure out whether or not a character supposedly fictional was actually real by analyzing his work. Gotcha. Okay, interesting concept. Uh, I can't mess with that either. I'm just going to open all of the things so I'll know whether or not I've looked inside of them. I'm just going to leave them all open so I don't go back and search the same areas again. Unless, of course, I'm supposed to. You know what? I might take a pause and go get something for our scratchy throat because if we're going to be reading all of this stuff, it will probably get that way. Zoom! No, I wanted to... I wanted to... Stop. Okay. I'm gonna go back downstairs and look at that picture because I figured out how to turn things. So I can't, like, stick that in my pocket and fix my phone? Hey, a key! I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you tonight. It's all about you and me and... Let's make it special! You promised! Oh, I clicked out of my screen. What happened to the bottom drawer? Or the two other drawers? Where are those? Dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your damn mind? Possibly. I know you're going through some rough stuff right now. I really do. That's why I've agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place. For old time's sake, I even deliberately gave you a trivial task because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for kids' bedtime stories. There's no way in hell I'm using this and I've already regret agreeing to the payment in advance. Please get your shit together. Your old pal, Liam Brickstone. Whispering Tale Publishing House. Ah. Was he illustrating for Grimm's fairy tales? <laughs> God. Oh my God. Your grandmother tasted lovely. You shall taste good too. I have no idea how Grimm's Fairy Tales actually did this one. Did it do Little Red Riding Hood? I think so. I can tell you the Grimm's Fairy Tales are supposedly notorious for not actually being good bedtime stories. Ooh, lights. Just so long as you aren't zooming in on the Norman, the crotch of Norman Reedus, Reedus in Death Stranding gets you punched. Really? That is great. I never had an inkling to actually play that game, and now I feel like I need to. It was like a game of picking up packages and running. It just felt like another settlement needs your help, but with less stopovers and no fast travel. See, that's like the most normal thing I've seen, and even the dogs seem oddly proportioned. I'm assuming that's like some form of Great Dane type of dog. And that looks like a collie kind of dog. Hey! That was beautiful. I don't know what you're complaining about. Let me play. Oh, music. See, now that's the problem. I didn't actually read the music. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about going down there either. Okay, we checked that room. What about down here? It's kind of creepy. Okay. Okay, that one's locked. Okay. 
Huh? I, I feel like it should rattle. It's a little soldier! No one tell McCready. Stuff got lost. Those are just creepy. I hate to say it, but those little dolls, the little, uh... What do they call those dolls? They're made with ceramic, like the, the old ceramic dolls. Those things have always creeped me out. Beer. <laughs> Horse is... Cod eat... Or eth... 4H4... Okay. Porcelain dolls, brisk dolls, and the china dolls. Yeah, the porcelain dolls. Those things have always creeped me out. You need a lot of those blocks, don't you? Aww. That's mommy and daddy and flowers and trees. Oh, that's disturbing. Okay, I guess we checked everything in this room. I guess we know what to send a list for Christmas. No, don't do that. <laughs> I would feel obligated to keep it out and then just be creeped out every time I saw it. Okay, this one is locked. Alright, and this one we're not supposed to be messing with, but I am so I'm gonna mess with it. I touched it. What you gonna do about it? Dumbling all around, dumbling all around, dumbling all around. It's so funny. Dumbling here and there, dumbling everywhere, and I must declare. I stepped right on her toes, and when she... You know, music just isn't the same anymore. What's this? Look at them fancy boots! I'm definitely a boots person, not a purse person. <gasps> Why? Oh my god. Seriously, why are there so many damn bottles? I understand that there's like a group of folks out there that have got like a little too much money maybe. And like they're whiners and they keep like bottles and bottles of wine. But why would you have a closet inside a bedroom? Unless you just ran out of room in your basement. And you just like have to have that much wine. Or maybe there's, maybe this mansion's on a vineyard. I have no idea. Is this mansion on a vineyard? Can I look at any of this stuff? The new face of music. A night at the opera becomes a night to remember. Your dog did not like that song. <laughs> it reminded me of that song with, uh... What was, what was that... What was that game that we were playing a while back that we had... The grandma running around in a thong? Ah, oh, I've already forgotten it. Uh, Madison, Madison. That was the one. That freaking song that it played in Madison? Oh my god! Might not be a household name yet, but just to give her time, the incredibly talented multi-instrumentalist gave an astounding performance just last night, winning over even the most ardent naysayers. She was simply astonishing. I have not seen such passion, energy, and skill in years, stated famed pianist Daniel Richer. He was not, only, he was not alone in his praise, it seems, that even Anthony Giles, one of the Blank's harshest critics has finally seen the light. Giles had previously made disparaging comments about the artist, stating that there's more to performing music than enthusiasm and a pretty face. When asked if, after witnessing last night's performance, he regrets his words, Mr. Giles gave us a look that can only be described as a mixture of awe and embarrassment. Pressed for an answer, he simply said, yes. We caught up with the star, such and such. Okay. Blah! <laughs> I'm clicking outside of my screen. I do apologize if I... What am I doing? I'm clicking over here in chat, so if I hit something I'm not supposed to be hitting, I do apologize ahead of time. Galactic's grand opening in flames. Disastrous at the new department store leaves dozens fighting for their lives. Oh no. Um, the long-awaited opening of the Galactic department store turned into hell on Earth when the building wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building. Having no chance to escape the raging inferno, the exact number of casualties has not been determined, although it's estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner of the galactic Ronald Sheffield, Sheffield? has so far declined to comment on today's tragic events. Wedding ring? Okay. 
Thanks. <laughs> oh, Dinkerdo. <laughs> okay, that was you. All right. I, I thought something creepy was happening. I'm guessing we don't have a voiced protagonist at all. Sorry I couldn't sleep. The legs have been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. The legs? Okay, have I thoroughly looked this room over? I mean, I've opened all of the things, right? So I guess now we check either the basement or the blood door. I do have the key for the office, but I, I want to check that last. I want to check everywhere if this thing is supposed to... Oh. This is supposed to be off of what it is you explore and what it is you check, then yeah. Did I already check this door? No, I did not. Okay. Ah! There we- My god! Got a problem? Call us a f forget about it. Call us now and forget about it. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Uh, is this joke so old that it's actually from the 20s? Can I walk across those? I can. Can I trip the others? Can you stick your finger in there? There's like one mouse hole and 5,000 of those. You know, if you put a little bit of bait, like either some cheese or peanut butter on there, you'll probably get that mouse. I'm just gonna leave that. Okay. We went everywhere else besides downstairs and the office. Let's check downstairs. Okay, so there are mice. Did they not check the basement? They said something about the kitchen, but just, I haven't heard any in the kitchen. I heard some in the basement. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, no. What happened? Uh, report card. Grading period. One, two, three, and four. Reading. Rent communications, math, science, social studies, art, music. Excused from class on the physical. Well, I mean, all around, I would say not the best student. But definitely more gifted in the arts and musics. Wonder why they were excused from the physical, unless I got it wrong and... No, because I can actually hear the way he's walking. My god, you missed so many days of school. And we're late so many days of school. I was supposed to say, maybe the daughter was missing the leg and that's the reason why they were excused from PE, but... I can I can definitely hear this dude walking. He's got an odd cadence. It's got to be him, right? Unless both of them are missing a leg. I have no idea. It's entirely possible. Stranger things have happened. I, I probably should go over there and check to see what it was the rat was after. Hang on. It came from over here. This is a a lovely little fountain. What is that sludge? You okay? Well, let's turn that back off. I can't. Okay, okay, I was supposed to say I turned it on. I can't turn it back off. What is this? And why? Do old houses just have piles of dolls like this? That's creepy. Okay, and the mouse ran out of there and went over here. To what? Nothing? It just ran away? You can't catch it? The dude is just gonna have mouse problems. I thought that was actually missing the handle for a second. Okay, so we've got this door and another door upstairs that we can't get into. We need lights. We need uh, keys. Okay, I think we've checked everything. Have we checked everything? Did you guys see a door that I haven't checked yet? No leg would do that? Yeah. Well, not to mention, like, if it's like a hereditary thing, if I'm not mistaken, there are some hereditary things that cause people to have to wear, like, a boot. Um, particularly, like, in the 20s, they'd have to wear a boot and their legs were malformed. I've already forgotten which one it was. Was it polio? I think it might have been polio. I don't remember what it was. But uh, if he had it, maybe the daughter had it? It's not a, night, a time you normally chime, is it? Doesn't it do it like at the top of the hour? I 
I don't know. Let's see, see, see. Uh, all right. This is the art you choose to surround yourself with while you're working. That's some decent stills, though. <clears throat> That's very dramatic. I don't really care for their art. I get that there are some people who like the, uh... What is the style? Um... And th there's a name for it, guys. I took art classes when I was younger, but damned if I can remember all of the stuff and things that I learned from... Good God. Have you considered not breaking your brushes? You can't get things if you can't take care of your toys, dude. You're supposed to care for your brushes as if... Well, I mean, like, I don't have a mansion, so I am not rich, but you're supposed to take care of your brushes. Nothing to mess with in there. But then again, all the alcohol we've seen. If he's actually the one drinking all of the alcohol, it kind of makes sense on why so many things are broken. I'm sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house, for God's sakes. Come to me when you're done before you go to sleep. Yeah, that's pretty messed up. Get it right this time. What are we getting right? Blech. Please tell me that's paint and not more alcohol. Oh my god. Cool. Well, I mean, it looks like you've already started on the background, so this should be pretty easy, right? Cool. Why does that seem reflective? So I guess we sit down and paint? Lost it, you deserve finish it. Okay, do we need to... Are we going to sit down? Are we going to start working? How does this work? Uh, pick up a paintbrush, maybe? Yeah. Which, which color are we using? Dude! Y you gotta move the thing off of your palette. See, see, this is exactly why you suck at painting. Look at this mesh. You gotta clean the thing up so you can just feel... Light, you know? Like, if you just, like, leave all of this... Why is this like this, actually? How does one start to paint? Let me stare at it thoroughly. Let me contemplate existence. Okay, well, we're done then. I guess we're leaving? I've looked at all of the things. Can I leave now? Yes. Okay, I guess we can't leave. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna be one of those PT-style games, huh? Cool. Usually bodies in there? Yeah, maybe. Like if you had someone sitting for him, that would be the place where you had him sitting. Can I turn on a light? There we go. Okay. There's so many books in here. Oh, reconnect with your partner, rebuild your relationship, re rediscover the joy of marriage, rekindle the flame. Have you considered talking to her? I mean, it seems like she kind of wrote some notes for you to do just that. Don't worry, you're not alone. Perfect relationships may look great on the silver screen, but the rest of us mortals have to face the simple truth. Nobody's perfect. And you know what? That's fine. In fact, many loving couples struggle with day-to-day -day life in a relationship. This does not make them any less special. It just takes some time and work. And we're here to help. Our accounts and consultants, all trained experts in their field, will help you identify the source of your troubles and deal with it. At your own pace, whether it's simple miscommunication, money problems, or conflicting personalities, there's a problem, there's a solution. Ain't that the truth? Relationships are not like they show on TV. That does not look like a comfortable chair. Not sure if I want to approach that. There's that picture again there. Uh... I thought I was going to have to figure out how to climb out the window. You mean to tell me we've just been making a mess on this door? On this floor? On this door, yes. Okay, well, we've we finished this room, right? Yeah. Turn that off. Go back in. <laughs> Things are changing. What kind of plant is this? 
Ooh. Okay, so it's a lady that's playing. I think we kind of... Where did I just put that? Going in circles. Turn us around! Ah, dear sir and madam, we kindly, a bit, a, a bit strongly, urge you to keep your voices down during the night. Your marital problems, while regrettable, are private matter and should remain that way. They are certainly of no concern of us, and especially our children. Please consider that not everyone has a feel is, everyone is a freelance artist. Some of us have to get up early and work for a living. We need our sleep. Just to warn you that if things continue the way they are now, we will be forced to call the police. Sincerely, your very tired neighbors. So, marital issues, and apparently they got very, very vocal about it. Gotcha. What is that sound? That sound like someone was humming. It's Harry Potter, before he got the thing on his forehead. Save the date of blank request the pleasure of your company to celebrate their wedding on the 9th of June at St. Luke's Chapel at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Wait, I want to check the back. Can I check? No, I can't check the back. You know what? I'm kind of glad I can't open that. It seems to have several entities inside of it. Cool. Well, I didn't want to get inside the whispering box. I, I can't hardly see in here, but it looks like this is more of the same type of supplies. It's all art supplies, books, dominoes, that kind of thing. Okay, I guess we go into the whispering box. Eight, five, four. The past holds back. Look closer. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? Dude has a pleasant voice, but I don't like what he said. That sounds extremely possessive. That door wasn't there! Hang on. <laughs> I just want to... Picking on... No, it's not going to let me go out the other way. All right. I'm going to assume, since they just decided to not write that in English, it's not relevant. I'm going to let them get finished rocking first. If the box is opening... I mean, if the box is talking to you, you need to open it. I'm not sure that I need to. No, nope, they're still busy. Okay, I guess we gotta go in here. It's just not gonna stop, is it? Oh, it stopped when I got closer to it. <laughs> okay, my bad. Creepy. Uh, more trophies, another pallet. Uh, you've been snooping around my workshop again. For the last time, you are not allowed in the room. Even if the door happens to be open, I forbid it. This is your last warning. Next time, you'll have to look for a new job. Okay, that's... that's rude. There are more pleasant ways of saying that, but I guess maybe if that's not the la first time that they've had to warn somebody. Can I step on that one? Like nosy housekeepers or something? The heck kind of picture is that? I turn on the light. Spin it. Where it stops, nobody knows. Okay, that wasn't helpful. Not that I'm pretty sure we are scrying to figure out where the story was taking place. That would be kind of cool. This looks like a really cool reading room. Not necessarily with the deer. I don't mind doing hunting and everything like that. I'm just not like a trophy person. Eh, it just seems like... It just seems like, I don't know. No, misplaced, maybe. That's disgusting. 
and disturbing. You're going to make me go over there and look at that thing on the wall, aren't you? Okay, I thought it was following me. Okay. I fully expected the doll to move. I did not expect to fall through the floor. My god. Instead of worrying about the rats, you might have should have worried about the termites. I would like a light. My love, even though you may not have been born yet, I can already feel your presence. It's simply amazing. I just can't believe how lucky I am. A year ago, all I had was talent and ambition. Now, against all odds, I have, been a, I have a career, a loving husband, and you. I have never been more deeply religious person. I have never been a deeply religious person. I guess what other people look for in a sermon I found in perfecting my art. But now I can't help but feel like there's a higher power watching over me. They once told me that I would never succeed as a musician. Now I'm playing sold out concerts at some of the most prestigious venues in the country. So it's the mom talking to the daughter, right? They also said I had a difficult character. It could be a son. This just seems like something you would write to a daughter though, right? Could be a son. Their child, rather, because it did say that she was expecting. They also said I had a difficult character and that I would never find a soulmate. Guess again, finally, a doctor once told me that I would never be able to have children of my own, and yet here you are within me. I am quite possibly the happiest woman in the world. Okay. So it was kind of like a career woman. She played piano. Actually, it says she played several instruments. And the two of those guys got married, and I guess he was the artist. Not her. She was music. What the heck am I hearing? Oh, here's the light switch. Hang on. Okay. The character might want to lay off of the alcohol and get more sleep. Down the rabbit hole. You say as I'm going up. Oh my gosh. Okay, so some of those traps were working. It's very dramatic. Wait, this is the room I fell out of. There's not a hole here. I'm not going to fall again whenever I go over here, am I? What is going on here? That's a whole lot of paint and just sitting up on top of the deer. Can I... You should be able to open that. I guess I'm not going back in there. Okay, um... So, we looked at this guy. That was the guy in the basement. I guess I guess we brought him back up here. And the freaking ceramic dolls are being all dramatic. It's creepy. Thanks. Oh, that's creepy. It's like a merging of two paintings like on top of each other. Yeah. <gasps> Paint deep lies. Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> Why did my character suddenly start talking? Was he supposed to be talking to begin with? She's doing the paint me like one of your French girls? I'm not that round. <laughs> Honey, he didn't paint you round. You've got curves. Women are supposed to have curves. She's like, I'm all self-conscious and stuff. You did pose for him to paint you like one of his French girls. This is a cozy room. I don't particularly care for the furniture, but it's cozy. Those look uncomfortable. How many brushes does one person need? What the hell? 
screeching arsonists, echoing screams. I don't. I won't go down easy. They stop at nothing. I won't go down easy. Was that the rat talking? But if it's the twenties, the style was to be straight up and down. Its body dysmor dysmorphia is rife. Was it? I thought it was still curvy back then. That didn't start until later. I'm not sure exactly what trend went with what trend, but every single trend where people are supposed to be... It doesn't even make sense. A mature woman, especially a woman who has children, they have hips. They're supposed to. That's how their body is supposed to function. It's how they're supposed to look. How they're meant to look. Greek women were voluptuous women. What the hell just happened? Did a rat just run into the fire? Greek women, the, the statues of old, the, the ones that inspired the great sculptors, they were voluptuous women, not women. I guess maybe the 20s was the, the, the time out of the, the flapper generation, like the ladies with the little tassels at the end of their dresses. I guess the... Because the style of the dress was straight, I guess that was probably the way they actually thought the women underneath were shaped. I guess it makes more sense that way. I don't really want to walk over there because I'm afraid it's going to yoink me through the- It did actually run in the fire! Okay. It's a hole. Yep. This dude needs a nap. When was the last time he slept? You like five more drinks in him? What is going on? Is this the ring? She puts in a crawl through or something. Okay. Is that what we were here for? Was to see all the stuff floating? Oh, it messed up that over there too. Hang on. Uh. We looked through everything. Did anything change other than that? Where's that wind again? There's definitely a storm going on outside. I'm guessing we can't have a flashlight. Can I get like a, a lantern? That would be cool. Why is there... That seems wholly unsafe. In regards to your previous letter, I'm sure it's nothing to be too concerned about. Women tend to get weird after having a baby. Yes, yes they do. Very. Hormone imbalances and the like, and when we had our first, I remember Valerie got blues real bad. I would ask her what she wanted for lunch, and she burst into tears. Just to be there for her, and I'm sure it's going to be fine. Now, I know I promise not to rush you, and all, by all means, enjoy your well-deserved time off. But just to let you know, I'm getting phone calls from the Ying Yang Commission's left and right. What? Ying Yang Commissions. You're a hot ticket, my friend, and maybe you should strike while the iron is hot, but of course, family comes first, your friend Thomas Caldwell. Yes, after a woman has a child, she goes through huge, huge fluctuations in hormones. It's kind of very natural. When Tigress was a tiny, tiny baby, the first time I put her in her si in her little crib to sleep by herself, I felt like I was being a bad mother and cried because I didn't have her in my arms. Because I had to put her down and had her sleep on her own. I was bawling. I felt like a horrible person. That's how bad the hormones are. That and I actually cried while watching. Yeah, I sounded kind of like that when I was watching. Was it Pepsi Cola or Coca Cola that had the bears during the winter time? The little snow bears or whatever? I actually cried during one of those commercials. It was ridiculous. My hormones were so out of whack. Okay, we're here. So this is representing the wife after the child? I mean, you literally can't do anything about it other than be there. Hello. It's about time for us to talk, don't you think? I mean, I've seen you in my house so many times, and yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. Is she talking to her husband? 
Why would she not have the courage to talk to her husband? I'm pretty sure he was kind of stumped about to do what to do about his wife. I think most ti most first time dads probably go through that situation, not knowing what to expect. I don't think dads sit down their sons and say, "Now look, son, whenever she has this child, her hormones are gonna flip, and you're just gonna have to deal with it for a while. Just." Be there for her and you'll get through it eventually everything evens out it's actually perfectly natural that's how it's supposed to work i don't think those conversations ever happen just like women don't get sat down and talked to about their husband's midlife crises it's like a natural thing that they go through as well i think everybody goes through a midlife crisis but i'm not sure like at that point where you're like looking to the future and seeing less of it and saying oh my god where's the time gone I think everybody goes through that. I feel like we should be doing something at the store, though. Are we, are we not supposed to, like, knock or anything? Okay. Are we gonna find all their paprika again? What? That two things of paprika. They must really like their paprika. And you guys said the paprika is, like, depending on how it's made, taste one day, way or another. I think the problem is, is the paprika I've had is just, like, basic... 50 cent jar of paprika and maybe that's the problem. I should try and make it myself and see how it tastes. A lot of the stuff grown out of your own garden tastes better anyway. My god, there are four bottles of paprika right there. Five, six. Seven, eight. Nine. Ten, eleven. How much, how much paprika do you need? There's another bottle of paprika. And look, there's another one. There's a, a bottle on the ground. Okay. That's a lot of bottles of paprika. This does not seem like a good hallway. First step is the hard. Okay, I always have to find out. Hardest. I always have to find out if I can backtrack if I want to. Oh, we're in the kitchen. This is definitely not where it's supposed to be. I feel like we've left, left this somewhere else. It's a banana. Where's all your paprika? What made all of the noise? We could pick up a knife. You know, just in case whatever it is that's inside the pantry. Are we supposed to put something on here? What happened to all the dishes we had? But Whoever's in there, you can stay in there. I don't like turning my back on that. Why can't I open this one? There we go. I don't want to go open that door. Where's your paprika? Come on! There's blue sugar. Closest I can find in the 1940s is two packages of paprika. Eight ounces costing 11 cent. How much do you reckon those big bottles of paprika cost? I mean, maybe they're making their own if they get they got some peppers up here drying them. I mean, if there's a garden somewhere on the lot, then... Okay. Is there a reason why that side of the room is vibrating? Gyrating? I kind of don't like the fact that a knife went into the wall next to me and I can't see the wall anymore where the knife was. It's just sitting there and so is this side of the room. So if there's like a perpetrator over here throwing knives, they could sneak over here, grab the knife, and I wouldn't know. I'm just over here looking at the gyrating side of the kitchen. Do I have to go over here and... Well, that's just a damn waste now, isn't it? Okay, is that your way of saying get out of the room? Oh. First, 
I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. <clears throat> Did you steal someone's pimple? I don't know who's over there, but I, I've got the distinct feeling that somebody is over there. And that I'm not supposed to go over there. My eyes just not gonna adjust to over here. I'm not supposed to go back over there. It's like it gets lighter whenever I move this way, but I can't see anything. Okay, I'm doing it. There's just another door. Okay, that's that door, but it's a wall. Okay. The knife. It's not going to let me have the knife? Apparently not. <laughs> well, you're not allowed. All right. Fine. Okay, we're back in here. Deep breaths. Remember you're a professional, just like the first few strokes. When you're over the humps, what's so hard about it? Yeah, sometimes it is like that. Sometimes you just got to... Shapeless dreams. Sometimes you just gotta you gotta do the first couple of ones, even if it's bad. Can I turn on a damn light in here? Have you heard that doing things in dull light actually makes your oh jeez. <laughs> my my rat art is on the wall. Have you considered putting your your Grimm's fairy tales things on the wall too? That that could be interesting. Can I still I can't open these. Hate even now lost it you deserve finish it. You deserve it, finish it. Hate even now, look, lost. You deserve it, finish it. Okay. Can I not open the drawer underneath now? I don't want to miss the stuff in the things. Ah! Flamingos! Have you considered quitting painting because you're not good at it? That looks like you skinned a flamingo. What are you doing, dude? What kind of drugs are you on? Uh, 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 don't touch that. First I look for a canvas, not just any big canvas. I had to find a knife that- no Oh. Are you saying that whole thing right there? <coughs> that- that's skin. Whose skin? Oh my god. My, my character is like the artist form of Hannibal Lecter. Well, that's some atmosphere. I can hear the wind. I can. I think I see a tree, but I don't see... Uh, before, I saw a, a wall. We have an elevator? Oh, it would not do for me to have an elevator. I would be in this thing all the time, just pushing the buttons and taking the ride. I would just sit inside the elevator with a book and push the buttons. How's the stuff? How's the things? How was your vacation? Well, not your vacation, but how was your holiday? I don't want to assume anybody had a vacation. Um, so right or left? This is an old-timey one. Don't you have to... Yeah, you have to close one of these. Always thought those buildings that had these types of elevators were really, really cool. So we now. I have successfully worked the elevator. Oi! We have an intruder. The past catches on. Is that what that said? Is the past something? Nothing. Okay. I guess I'm supposed to find a key somewhere, huh? Stare at it? <laughs> oh, that painting just scared the hell out of me. Creepy freaking painting. Oh, key. 
you know, you've got a repeat of a lot of the same ones. Have you ever considered maybe these things are counterfeit? I hope you didn't invest too much money into this. Note. Dear Sir, while I can certainly understand that you are upset, and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Oh no, this dude's a Karen. Uh, any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne's have made every effort to ensure the positive outcome for your wife. Your wife needs a skin graft? Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion. I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think written hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. As I have already stated, I can certainly understand that you have been under a lot of stress as of late, and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any, any cor further correspondence, let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, wow. I have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than competent to help you through these hard times with best regards for you and your wife, William H. Green, MD. What happened to his wife that she needs a skin graft? Usually that's for burns, right? Or, like, maybe big scars? Piano. Is that a painting of his wife, Why actually, on the piano? That you was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Hmm. I talked about a department store fire earlier. Was she somehow in that? I mean, like, was she just at the department store when it happened or something? Is that what we're talking about? So it hasn't said anything else about a fire. What is that noise? That actually sounds like a fire back behind that door. No, oh, maybe because there was a fire back behind that door. Who's burning our furniture? If you cold, light it in the... I don't want to walk across that. That just seems like it's supposed to break. Was there a home fire? None of the notes have said anything about a home fire yet. See, it's the mice burning the house down, probably. Have we considered not having a fire in the middle of the floor and using our uh, fireplaces? It seems like a smarter idea to me. I think that thing can keep that. I don't, I don't want that. The baby melted into goo? I'm just going to consider that ectoplasm. I'm not sure what's going on, but things can't possibly be normal around here. Oh no. Okay, the mouse went that way. I'm kind of afraid to go down any hallway in case it traps me inside some story element and then I miss other stuff, so let's check all of these things. Warning signs. The following list is a compilation of the most common symptoms of schizophrenia. Oh no. While typically diagnosed between the ages of 15 and 25, the disorder is known to affect older patients as well. Note that these symptoms are not exclusive to schizophrenia. Yeah, they're not exclusive to schizophrenia and should by no means be treated as a conclusive evidence of this particular affliction. In order to obtain a proper diagnosis, you should contact a qualified specialist, i.e. psychologist or psychiatrist. Blank expressions, stares off into space. Yes. Involuntary facial movements. Yes. Insomnia. Haven't noticed. 
Unusual gestures or postures always had that. Unable to experience joy from activities, definitely. Depersonalization? What does that even mean? I actually don't know. Awkward, clumsy movement might be from the accident. Prone to anger, resentment, more aggressive, more passive aggressive. Lack of motivation, yes, and suicidal tendencies, question mark. What is depersonalization? That's what that means. So is, who's doing this? Is this the husband thinking about the wife or the wife thinking about the husband? Hmm. Out of body experience? I think it's less an out of a body experience. I'm, this is going to sound weird, but I think I've actually experienced this back when I was a child and I would go to camp and it just felt like I wasn't there. I was observing someone else being there. So I kind of understand what it's talking about, but I think it was more like a... It was just a, this is so weird, I'm disconnected from the actual experience kind of feeling. Whereas out of body experience would be like, while you're sleeping or something like that, I would think. Okay, we've been in that room before. Make up your mind. Is this like one of the 5,000 rooms he has in order to do his art? What is this? Okay, this is just walled in, and our mouse disappeared back there. What is with the mouse anyway? What, what, is, what is the mouse here for? Why are we seeing mice and dolls? Have you considered not putting this bullshit up on your walls and that's the reason why you're having problems? Alright, where's the stupid supposed to happen in here? Nothing to look at. Touch it. Got it. Where do we stop on this this time? Place your bets now. So we just kind of land in about the same place, huh? Uh, okay, all right. What, what? Hey, let me in here. I must investigate. I must look at all of the stuff in the things. I'm seeing awards again. Is there a chance that the dude that we're playing was like in a war and that's maybe maybe how he lost his leg or something? Because we've seen these things all over the place and these look like... Like, uh... Cross is 1914? World War I? <laughs> I'm getting sun flares off of the fireplace. Alright, I'm gonna stop playing with that. Okay. Do you have a letter in here for me or anything? I don't see anything. I don't want to miss anything, but it's bound to happen at some point. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, um, maybe rethink your interior designer. Or don't. I mean, don't's an option. That's not what I meant. What the hell was that? What, what happened with the flicking of the light thing? What happened? 1914 and 1918. Well, he's got a medal that says 1914, so... Not long into the battle, and then he was... Yeah, that sounds like a medical discharge of some sort. So that kind of lines up, I guess. Could have gotten injured in the war. And then by, like, 1920s, it makes sense on why this would be happening the way it is. Did you open things where I could see things better? Or did you just make a damn mess? Okay, looks like you just made a mess. Whoa, hang on. Smith Safe Company. Okay. I need digits. Three one six, three one four, three seven six, three seven four. Did some major heroics during that time for that many medals? Yeah, you would think so. It wouldn't just be you got injured, it would be like you got injured saving several people. Kind of a lot of rewards. Three sixteen, you're guessing? Yeah, that's what it kinda looks oh now I can turn that on. Okay. All right, before I try opening that, let me see what was inside this room before everything got thrown. Hmm. 
Now, if I go in here, it's gonna it's not gonna lock me out of something, is it? Should we try the four sixteen? Uh, three three sixteen, I guess. That's just not the normal type of code you would have in here, is it? Yeah, I don't I don't think it actually goes to that. That's like a a rollover digit code. It's not like one of those codes. Maybe that's part of the code. It is a possibility. Please don't lock but Daggum it. I don't like the idea of it doing that because I don't want to get locked out of a a thing. I would like a little bit of extra light. Do we have a I don't have a switch here. Hello? Oh no. Okay. Where's it gonna land? Um. Okay. That didn't really help. I keep looking at that like somehow or another I'm going to recognize something and I really don't because there's so much uh, artifacts on it. So I can't really see what it is anyway. It looks like somebody wrote not this name, which is like not my name on the letter. It's like, no, I didn't send it. Definitely not. Am I supposed to walk through here? Okay. Through the looking glass. Okay. It cannot be undone. Oh, no. It cannot be undone, it cannot be undone, it cannot be undone. What the hell? Well, that just looks like someone exploded a whole ghost on that thing. Not ominous, uh, not ominous, you, you <laughs> ominous at all. <laughs> I'm only doing this because it allows me to do this. So I must do it. There's nothing like passing a big globe and then just going a you know, for a little while. That landed in almost the exact same spot. Okay, can we leave now? Ah, it's just what I was missing in my life, a piss corridor. Wait, can we go back this way? No. <laughs> All right. Uh, the problem is, is I didn't actually get into that box, and now I feel like maybe I've missed what was inside that. There's a dog. Okay. Oh, that's not okay. So barbecue the dog. Good boy? Money. Remember how you said it would be nice to have a cat so the baby could have someone to play with? Well, I just bought us a dog. <laughs> Aww. Okay. The good boy dog? Are we done with the pee dog? Pee, pee fog room? You want this as well? Okay. Okay. I, I think I've learned a thing. Apparently, once you go off into an area, you definitely cannot go back. I don't know that I'm going to be able to go back to that room. Once great artist time. New paintings left out of galleries. What we witnessed today, while entirely worthless in artistic terms, might be an invaluable case study for psychologists. These harsh words came from none other than Jason Hughes, the, frame, the famed critic uh, was one one of the first to appreciate the works of whatever, and whose praise once contributed to his first spectacular success. When asked if such brutal criticism was indeed called for, especially in the light of recent tragic events, Hughes responded, as critics, it is our duty to critique art, but not to judge the artist. The man has been through a lot, lady, and obviously has taken a toll on him. Still, if we're to remain silent and pretend this is even remotely acceptable, we would be doing the artist a disservice. Other critics were only slightly more lenient as the... Okay. So maybe the theory that the wife was indeed injured. 
burned or something like that because it did say something about a department store burned but I had no idea how that actually fit in but then it was talking about how she needed a skin, skin graft so it was her that got burned he's dealing with her having been burned and his art was suffering and the guy was being very harsh on his, his critique was very harsh well, I mean yeah if, if an artist is like slipping or something like that you have to critique it properly it doesn't necessarily mean it's a a critique of the individual they can be different they can be separated dude <laughs> just got jump scared by a wheelchair <laughs> it's not okay <laughs> where did you come from <laughs> well played well played <laughs> dang you can just stay in there okay just stay in there That was silly. As long as I'll turn around and it's just following me down the hallway. Can I get back to that room where I didn't open the safe? Was he scared of being in a wheelchair? Or maybe was maybe if his wife was burnt badly enough, she was in a wheelchair? I didn't realize this was in your room. I'm sorry. Well, the wheelchair didn't follow me. <laughs> it would be hilarious if it did start following me. Yeah, that'd be kind of creepy. Hi. You know, we probably should stop meeting like this. It's a... I was supposed to say it was the exact same... picture. Dude! <laughs> Thanks. There goes that mouse again. It's interesting when your place is so big you actually have fog in it. I thought it was supposed to change the stuff behind me. It didn't change anything behind me, did it? It's just, just all dramatic me touching. Wait, is this back where I was at? Yeah, it's back where I was at. Can, can I have some light? Here we go. Now who's gonna fix that? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We've got drawers. Can we find story bits? Story bits! She's been at it again earlier in the day. I found more of her reviews. Little notes stuck to one of my latest paintings. Some of the most scathing, hateful shit I've ever read in my work. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. After all, she knows me well enough to know that she what really gets to me. Worst thing is, when I confront her about it, she claims she hadn't written any of them. Like, I can't tell her handwriting. Jesus, does she really hate me that much? Or is her mind starting to slip? I just don't know what to do anymore. The wife was critiquing your work and putting post-it notes on your stuff? That's kind of rude. Dude. I had someone throw a knife at me and now they threw a, a ceiling fan. And scared me with a wheelchair. I think the house might be trying to kill me. I have no proof that there's anything other other than me and mice alive inside this house. Unless, of course, her crying inside the room was actually her and not just my character thinking he still hears her. What was that noise? Okay, that was actually a door this time. Okay, there's a, there's a slight chance that this dude has got some problems with his vision. Okay, we're just gonna ignore that that happened. Okay, there's nothing in here. <laughs> I guess we're gonna go and look. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, coffee stain. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay, we got a key. Awkward. Somebody's trying to get in my room. I'm sorry, I'm busy. I'm busy.
Check the next bathroom. Go to the next ba- I'm pooping! Oh, see, that works every time. <laughs> Nobody wants to be around when that smell starts wafting out. Now I can finish checking the room. <laughs> this is like nosy people. <clears throat> April 6th, found this little collection of empty bottles this morning. I reacted badly. I know it's hard for him too, but God, he should know better with a small child in the house. It's just irresponsible. Oh no. No, no I was going to turn the picture over so I could get some names. I guess we're just not allowed to know their name. Okay, I've gotten everything, right? Oh, look, they made a mess on the floor. Oh, it was just the picture. It's fine. He's not going to care that I took my time in there. Here, I'll shut the door. Light a match if you need to go. Just, just saying. Alright, that looks like a crossover point. Let me backtrack and see if I missed anything, because things changed out here. This house is absolutely amazing. Oh, but those stairs. With that leg of mine, I think you'll have to carry me to the bedroom once we move in. I hate when people get puddles all over the floor, you know? I, I really don't like this. <laughs> I don't know why, but these tiny little hallways bother me. Ah, somebody's shining their shoes. That's creepy. Do you guys have any pictures that are not creepy? I distinctly remember this room being at the top, on the top floor. I hear whispering again. You know, I get this distinct impression that he thought his wife was going crazy, but I'm actually wondering whether or not it was him. Prosthetics? Prosthetics snatcher. Why the damn leg? Insatiable bastards. Can't afford a new one. What's with the eyeballs inside of it? Did he think the mice took his leg? Did the mice take his leg? Would they do that? This doesn't seem like a good reason for that. What is with these walls, though? What's with this architecture? This sucks. I just realized how badly this room was put together. Dude, are we fussing to get some more music? As long as it's not that song from Madison. It's not going to auto-do things. What's this? Speed? What did I just do? I don't know what that does. Whoa, I dropped the bass. I needed a jar and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. A taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe? <laughs> That's the lesson you learned from that? Who did he get the skin from and the, the vial? I broke the things. Okay, I 
broke it with this. How do I fix it? Oh, did I play it backwards? Is that what that button does? What does this one do? Can I touch this one? This is the chipmunk sing it. <laughs> uh, is this a song about the eyes or something? Yeah, that song. That was so messed up. That was a disturbing song. Not that one. That one was actually not that bad. That's, the song from Madison was bad. Okay, so I fixed the door, I guess. Ah! Well, we are back. I'm slowly decorating my room. Nice! Can't stand seeing you like this. You're not well. You were sweating and shaking all night, and now there you are, locked in your workshop as usual. This whole tortured art artist nonsense has to stop. Sweating and shaking. Was he taking other stuff, you know? Hate, even now, lost, alone. You deserve it. A grave for you? Finish it. Is that grave? I broke my table. Okay, now, what are we gonna guess the next picture is? Because obviously my character is just finger painting at this point, and right now we've got flamingos, skinned flamingos. Scrapbooking? Yes, he's scrapbooking. <laughs> it does not seem like a likely uh, hobby for a tortured artist who drinks himself to death, I guess. That wall is whispering, by the way. Let's find out what he does this time. I feel like I'm doing a Warshack test. Um... Scorpion? Cave. I mean, Scorpion, it kinda, it kinda looks like it's got like the little arms right there and it's got the tail that hooks over. Any guesses? <laughs> it's gonna be the fluffy kitty with the Vigo Carpathian. <laughs> yes. I mean, I get you might want to layer colors on top of each other for the full effect, but I cannot see what it is he's after. Just resubscribed for 20 months. Brack, thank you so much! Thank you, thank you, thank you for the resub. Thank you. I, I don't understand what he's going for here. And I don't know how he layered up and took this two from the flamingos into this, so I'm assuming the paintings have nothing to do with each other. He's just like throwing paint on there and hoping he finds his inspiration. So we've got skin and blood. We're gonna have a whole chef a robe of body bits by the end of this. Watch. Creepy dude. I don't know. If this is like the art that he was taking to the museum, it's no wonder that dude is like being critical of him because I can't even pretend to know. But then again, there's art where like people stick a banana to a wall or something like that and call it art that I don't understand either. So... I mean, there was a day when people would paint things of substance. I'm not sure what this is. Okay, I don't know when the game auto-saves, because I'm assuming this is an auto-save, right? Oh, I hope so. Okay, it's got my picture on there. <laughs> this is my artwork! Let me put it on the on the refrigerator, mommy! Oh my god. Chicken. Like I said, let's jump into this. The storm is coming. I, I'm hoping it won't actually cut power, but the last couple of times it stormed, it cut power. So, form emerges. Is that what you call that? That's not form. What is that? I don't know. This down right down here could be like the base of a tree with a little cave in it, but then it just looks like someone slapped a, pi a pizza on it or a lasagna. I'm hungry. Rodent seeds? I see the dirt move. Rotten soil, nothing else grows. Vixen, how you doing? Anyway, um... Pardon? What the hell? Uh... 
Was it just sitting right there and then wind picked up? Th oh, I see the window has been busted. Well, that takes a... That takes a lot of wind to move a vase that's apparently that thick. That was some thick vase, dude. I don't see anything down here that we need to grab. Whoa, dude, look at your nose. That is an established nose, sir. There's nothing like having some very defining features and... Hey! You better put that back! <laughs> there's somebody in that room that is joking the piano. <laughs> anyway, there's nothing like having like distinct features that are very you. I don't like this whole fad of uh, Hollywood folks like trying to make all of their features look the same. It's like uh, that now you just look like 500 other people. Stop doing it. That is a very dignified face. It's very different. I like it. Uh, let's see. About a boy who wakes up in a cave, he finds a mysterious note and a gun. Then he journeys through various environments, woods, fields, and rivers. Eventually he winds up in a small cabin where it turns out this has all been the product of his subconscious brought upon by traumatic childhood memory. He killed a guy who had murdered his father in the real world. He has been drooling in a loony bin the whole time. Get it? The twist is sort of gimmick gimmicky, but I think it works. Could you storyboard it for me? And if you're interested, I'll send you the details right away. Frankly, I think you should you should take this job. It pays well, and it would take your mind off of the off soon. Uh, off of, well, you know, everything else. Please let me know as soon as possible. Oh, he was wanting him to storyboard something. Okay. I mean, yeah, it is kind of gimmicky because you kind of get the character out of whatever the end thing is if he's just drooling in a loony bin. The question of, is he happy that he killed the person who killed his father? And can he deal with the trauma of what he has done? I don't want to go over there to that piano. Wait, do I need to go over there to that piano? I don't like the fact that it constantly... ...stops me from completing certain things? Can... wait. Okay, that was just- you- you can't go in this room! Gotcha. If there's something over there I'm supposed to be seeing, I don't really see anything besides a window and blinky lights. Am I missing something? Is there actually somebody in the window? I can't really tell. No. Anyway, um, I've already tried to get onto the cats if <laughs> I'm just studying out the window. Am I missing something? Am I not seeing something? It was behind me the whole time. <laughs> that chick could have snuck up on me and gave me a huge wedgie. I'd have never known it. Ah, oh, that's intimidating. How long was she standing there? And was that a chick? I'm just assuming because it kind of looked like one, but she was tall. Very tall. Creator's block. Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, no. Have you thought about using a different block? Oh. Um. That gum at the door disappeared too! Oh. Can I have the other door back, please? You know, just so YouTube doesn't have any big problems. It's not going to let me shut it. All right. I have a key. I really thought that was a tall creature that was popping down in there. I thought it just, like, landed. No, it's a doll. I got scared for no reason. Guys, I didn't even have coffee today. I'm just jittery, I guess. Wait. I thought I was... This wasn't like this just a second ago. <laughs> Man, this game is good. <laughs> Get to studying a thing and turn around and the stuff behind me has all changed. I'm actually in the room I was looking at. Okay. All right. Uh, can I... Is that what I was trying to open? I guess so. No! Lift with your knees, dude. I know that you're only operating with one, but do it. Um, how can two people who once loved each other so fully, so profoundly, drift so far apart? My husband barely speaks to me anymore. He just slithers in and out of his study, obsessively working on one failed painting after another. He won't even sleep with me anymore. I can tell he's disgusted by me. 
The look he gave me the other day, the pathetic, hurtful look, a combination of shame, guilt, and repulsion. I have come to realize that I've become my mom become a monster in my husband's eyes it feels like nothing a woman should ever experience no that's not anything any woman would ever want to experience still being a good wife that i am i decided to realize my husband's fantasy if he thinks me a monster i'll sure as hell act the part oh boy okay so yeah she got it had to have been the store right it had to have been the store. That's the only fire we heard about. And we walked through a fire area and now suddenly she's got burns all over her. So she was in the store when it burned and they can't do anything about the burns. They can't do it. She's been disfigured because of the burns and he sees her differently. Yeah, that, that's a bit messed up, dude. What's this? Don't forget. Okay. June 9th. But what about what, what exactly are we trying to? Okay. June. Don't forget June, guys. It's June. This would be interesting if I could find out which one of these paintings he was actually responsible for. <laughs> Pardon? I have some aggressions? What the hell, dude? You're just supposed to open the door. Stop. 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 It's bouncing. I don't want it to bounce. I want as much room to see everything as possible. Can I have some lights in here, please? Thank you. September 15th. More notes today, even worse than before. The sad part is I agree with every word. What notes are we talking about? I can't really tell exactly what it is. It looks like a crying girl. And this is probably him, unless there is a, a psychopath with a knife. But this looks like a dude carrying paintbrushes, so... Okay, are there any other drawings that I miss seeing? I'm not sure what the uh, really cool sound effect was. Are we going to continue going through the same hallway? That's how my bookshelves get before I finally decide it's time to get rid of a couple of books. It's just like that. I can't read upside down. I'm not Australian! Dude! That's not fair. Hi, Kalatera. Just resubscribed. Joey, thank months. you for the resub. This is why I never want kids. That's that's not how kids act. <laughs> oh man, I never want kids. I never want kids because they act as that. Children are a whole lot like, well, a lot like how you raise them. The problem is, is a lot of people have gotten out of raising their children. Oh. Uh. One of these ways is going to shut me out. Is this is this how the story works? Like it gives you a couple of different directions at different points and you have to choose which side you're going through because I'm afraid if I step through either one of these doors, one of them is going to shut. Is there whispering coming from in here? Uh-huh. <laughs> He's smiling. Ugly. 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 You ordered a true portrait, so that's what I painted, you fucking pleb. Maybe I need to kick some artistic sense into your stupid face. Hmm. So you had to deal with a Karen too, huh? All right, so I found those glasses. I think that's what I was supposed to go in there. Fine. I'm glad to find out that I didn't lock myself out of one of those areas. See, I knew that was going to happen. Oh man. Hmm. Have people considered surrounding themselves with beautiful things to make things better instead of depressing things that make things worse? I mean, just, I'm just saying. Sometimes you have to surround yourself with beauty in order to see the beauty in things, otherwise you might forget. Obviously, you can't hide in all of the beauty. Sometimes you actually have to see it. You have to face it, but... It's a coffee stain inside a cabinet, because that's where I keep my coffee. In cabinets. It's like the book stacking of 18-something or another. I've never seen books stack like this. Listen. Do you smell something? Okay, moving on. Okay, 
sounds like a phone, but if you try to make a phone a more annoying sound. What? Do you have the phone? I, I swear I heard talking earlier. I, I'm not crazy. I heard that. Does this guy have gas? It's either that or he's closing a book weirdly. Can we... Can I pick it up? Pick it up! Dude! Okay. Apparently we're just gonna ignore that that's existing. Dear sir, if I am to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you have previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it's perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, it, I would think 16 concurrent opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly and have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to as a freakish grin or an unnerving yelp though might be might find such expressions hurtful could indeed be manifestations of nerve nerve damage the other symptoms you mentioned do not seem to be physical but rather purely psychological in nature traumatic events can lead to severe stress and that is nothing to be ashamed of as your demand that we fix your wife you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure it is a long, arduous process that will require all of your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation problem. Another effing quack. But wait, you mean to tell me this dude's walking around with a prosthetic and possibly has had to, you know, be helped and everything, but he can't... You would figure someone who has a prosthetic needs extra help, and I'm assuming that, you know, should they have had a decent relationship, which they seem to have had before the fire, even though there was stress, but before the fire, there was, they said that the relationship was good. I'm assuming she helped him, you know, get into his prosthetic, helped him whenever, you know, whatever needed to be done, but he get she gets burned, and suddenly he's like, yeah, I'm not gonna... What the hell is going on? There's a glitch in the matrix. You have a thousand dollar charge on Amazon if you do not make these purchases plus forward to contact customer service. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we need to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Okay, now both of them are gone again. Okay, now his voice seems odd, like it's slowed down. We've been doing this for a while. What happens if I go the other way? I mean, the sound sounds right now. Are we supposed to be going this way? I thought we were going the other way. Did I stop? Did I stop walking in the right direction or something? Okay. Oh, that's cool. Yes, speakers. Hello. Hello. Yes, speakers. Yes, speakers. What? What? What fire? Fire. Oh God. oh God, is she, is she... Which, hospital? which hospital? I'm on my way. Okay. For some reason, I guess we were walking backwards in time and I had to walk the other way in order to be on the right level. Okay, one of those types of things. All right, gotcha. So if things are not making sense, try going the opposite direction. Kind of like the, the room with the, the record player, we had to play it backwards. Even though I'm still not sure how exactly I got it to play backwards, because I was just pushing buttons and stuff. Okay. Can we... Hey, a different direction. Or is this where we came out of? No, this is not where we came out of. Okay. 
My bad. I'll go back this way. That's fine. <laughs> what was that? Oh my gosh. You're gonna make me open that door again, aren't you? I hope you guys can see. I can barely see. Okay. Can you imagine the trauma that that poor woman was going through? Oh, having been burnt and then his inability to actually handle it? Can I? Hold on. There we, there, we, there we go. Flapping horror, be quiet, constantly flapping, eating other rats. So he's afraid of rats and then he was afraid of flying rats. This dude has a problem with rats. I mean, I get rats are not... Rat... Rats? Rats? Yes. Rats are not great, but my god. Oh, I fixed the room. Hmm, cool. I probably should have looked around a little bit before I decided to turn that on. Cool. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Open. What is this? Ah. You know, I'm going to guess the fact that he's like a tortured artist or whatever, having gone through a whole bunch of stuff and all of the alcohol references, he definitely was likely a little bit on the drink on a regular. Did I rest my case? Why is there fog at the end of this hallway? I don't like this. Okay. Wait, why is there a curtain on the... What's going on with that curtain? Do you, see what the... Do you see what that curtain is doing? It's coming off of its rod and going over to the other wall. Wind's blowing it. It's cut... No, it's not even attached. It looks attached, but it's actually the other curtain. It belongs on the bar next to it. It's just flying off of the bar. Your curtains do that normally? Yeah, I don't I don't think they're supposed to. That curtain's doing it. Wait, did I hold on, I moved backwards, didn't I? Can I can I now leave? I don't like walking down hallways where physics are not a thing. What's she doing? Was that her? Like, I imagine... Okay, he was already having trouble dealing with her after she had a child because he didn't know how to handle an emotional woman. Because, you know, hormones after childbirth is a thing. But the the point being is, is, can you imagine the trauma she was dealing with of having been burnt and having to see his face? And stuff. So, yeah. God, I can't even imagine what that would have been like. Hope is, a, is the mind killer? Is it, though? If you don't have hope in any way, then you just don't really have a... Hold on, are we supposed to be going somewhere else? Are we done with this level? I didn't get a thing thingamajig to do my art with. If that's what we're calling it, do we go this way? Uh, did I not close it all the way? Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Straight up and down. Yes. Eh. There we go. I have definitely done it. Okay, maybe we can't go up anymore. Okay, we were on the top floor of this delusion, my bad. <laughs> Abandon hope while you can. How's about Yana? You cannot make me. Um, only a lack of food and slight discomfort can make me abandon hope. <laughs> In any case, as, uh, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any 
imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We still have a chance of winning this, believe it or not. I've gotten clients out of deeper crap than this. Just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while and let me appeal to the court order. This social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage. Portray you as the victim of the system, a husband in mourning, a mo momentary lapse of reason, an overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts, no more rambling, better yet, no more public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your da daughter. Get your daughter. What happened to his wife? I mean, I guess she went through, like, obviously, if she's got severe enough burns that they can't do anything about. Also, given the year that this is, there's not a whole lot that they can do. This is a long time ago, and then being able to do something for burns wasn't really all that great. If we think about it now, with the, the advances that they have, they're still not able to do a whole lot for people. With third-degree burns, there are some things that can be done. But in this day and age, did they hospitalize her? Was she that bad off? But if that's the case, then he would just automatically get his daughter. There wouldn't really be... Well, maybe it's because there's a... A social worker. Does someone call a social worker on him because he's been ranting about flying bats? And flying rats? Oh no, we're back in a box. Okay. Just out of curiosity. Thought so. Okay, dokie. Oh, we're going to a monastery now, huh? This cannot be part of your house. Dude, I'm gonna help you get over your fear. We're gonna follow that mouse. If I have to deal with the spiders inside my house, you have to deal with the, the rats in yours. Have you thought about not leaving so much crap laying around your house? You know, maybe clean up something every now and then. Have you considered it? Water. I love these fountains. These things look cool. They don't really do a whole lot of artistic stuff in, in architecture anymore. Well, I actually didn't mean to walk back around, but okay. Was I supposed to look through first? It's a possibility. Hello? Okay. Grab it. Oh, come on, dude. You can do it. There we go. Now's the question. Should we have done it? Ah, bathroom stock. Silent floaters, they clog the drains. Fur in the water, no baths for me. Oh, gross. He just decided to opt out of bathing. Bathing? Bathing? <laughs> Silent floaters, have you tried not using the bathroom all the time inside your water? This dude was seriously paranoid about them things. I mean, I get... Do I look the same? That was creepy that you change that whilst I was talking about it? I'm not sure why I'm doing this. Maybe I just expect to see the floaters, but I'm not actually seeing the floaters, dude. You have gone back crazy. Bat crazy! Your toilet doesn't work, dude. You thought about using a plunger? You went to a war! Are you actually- you know, he might have actually come back with some serious trauma from the war and never really got over it because he thought everything was okay. And he covered it all with alcohol, and then he just couldn't handle it, and went batshit crazy because his wife got hurt? And he couldn't handle the stress? Maybe I should be looking at this dude with a bit of compassion. I'm not really doing it. Okay, that turned on some light. Okay, I can turn the light on there, but I can't open the door. Cool. Wait. Oh, did that one have a lock, too? Hello? Hello? I mean, seriously, dude. This looks like you've got mushrooms growing on your floor. Have you considered cleaning? Oh, 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 oh. Here we go, here we go. Body bores feeding on me, driving me insane too fast to cut. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guys, he might have actually been crazy. He might have actually been crazy. All right, this dude has gone bonkers. It's gone from mice to flying rats to rats inside the drains and not wanting to take a shower anymore to he's got like leech things inside of his body. Oh. 
cool. Um, left. Left side strats. Okay, left. <laughs> okay, left. All right. Hmm. Okay, let's go back the way we came then. Ah! See, we didn't need any of those doors. We had a door. I kind of figured. Dude, how much alcohol did you have to drink between those two rooms? I don't think this dude is going to get his sea legs. We probably should continue on. I don't see how this turns out good. Why was that suddenly intimidating? Okay. I'm going to the basement. The cloth is burning away. What? Is there other cloth that needs to burn away? Why? There's like a low wob going on. I don't know what's going on. I said something and it stopped. Sure. Nope, it's doing it again. Patient. Dangling dread. Patient, thirsty, furry leeches, afraid to look up. Oh, now he sees them on the... Roof. What? I mean, there's two theories. Either this guy is actually going bonkers, or this is literally actually happening to him. In which case, this is terrifying and he's not reacting properly because that would be scary, right? I'm not sure why we're doing this, but sure. Okay, now, are all of the things and stuff done? Has every everything been uncovered? Did I do that? I broke it. Who needed to tell time in a warping tunnel place like this anyway? Screw you, dude. I broke a chair, though. Should I continue? Maybe I should stop touching it. <laughs> I seem to be breaking things. Maybe piano play is not my forte. Or maybe my character can play. Not sure what we're playing with because we're not sat down. Oh, cool. Wait, am I supposed to be trying to get somewhere? Uh, this reminds me of a section in uh, Evil Within. Is there another room in here? Now I'm... Wait, this room is empty. I can't see hardly? Uh, good heavens. Even the light disappeared. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, obviously. I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Just slowly taking apart an entire body. Did he kill his wife? Is that the reason why he's fighting for his daughter? Is because, like, he actually kind of killed his wife? Though I, he probably hasn't told anybody he killed her. She's just dead and he's, like, taking her apart and using him? Using her for, for his painting? No touchy all the things and press the flip switches? <laughs> ah! Look at that mess. What if you fail? Oh my gosh. Dude. Paint another one. That's what happens. When you fail, you you do it again and again till you get it. Um. Okay. Now let's make a deal, dude. If you put another layer of paint on here and it looks stupider, you should probably retire. Okay. Let's make that deal. Okay. 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 That's about that. 
I hate even now, lost alone, hopeless, you always will be a grotesque misunderstanding. Finish it. Wow, that's that's a that's a statement right there, isn't it? Well, that's disturbing. This is what Jabba the Hutt would look like if he went on a diet. Maybe Pizza the Hutt, because this is more Pizza the Hutt than Jabba the Hutt. Except for the hair. The hair is very bouffant. Alright, so we've got the flesh, we've got the the blood, and we've got the bone. What are we thinking? Um, hair, obviously. What else could you possibly need? I don't know, a, a tooth so you can sharpen your pencil. I don't know. What is this dude doing? It's not just, well, aside from, you know, the obvious, most people who get burnt probably aren't going, it's, if it's severe enough, she probably wasn't going to want to go out in public, but if it affected her ability to even play as recreation, that would suck. Because if she's having a hard time writing, imagine, it, it takes a lot of motor control to do that. I can imagine the motor control plus the more control it takes to do the piano. Oh no, she probably lost her hobby. No. Okay, she's just gonna walk over there, that's fine. I have a feeling his wife is just walking around exceeding exceedingly sad about all kinds of things, and I can't blame her. Okay. Um. Drunk? All right, we can't go that one. Delirious. Selfish. Okay, yeah. All right. I think we pretty much, oh. Somebody stab a horse? Hey, buddy. You look thirsty. Why don't you get oh, out? Thank you, thank you. I think he did it. Cuff him? <laughs> Maybe. Remember, we're not trapped in here with her. She's trapped in here with us, quietly. <laughs> Talk crap and run. <laughs> Okay, I get that the wife got burnt, but did they have a horse that was in the department store that got burnt too? No, that's not right. Try again. Don't give me that look. What do we do when we fail? We start over. You're better than this. Now sit down and this time, let's make it perfect. What? Are you, are you getting on to her for making a pink horse? I mean, I can tell by this art style right here, which is very, very, uh, at most, third grader, that a pink horse is absolutely fine. It does not matter. But you're an artiste and you must be all cranky and stuff, I see. All right. Oh, was there anything on the back? No, 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 no. Nothing on the back. Ah, I clicked out of the game. On these days, I'm gonna do that and just cut the stream. <laughs> that why you killed your wife? You need to start over? Hey, there you go. My mom still draws like that. Hey, there's plenty of times I still draw like that. There's a lot of people who still draw like that. Like, they don't, they don't put that kind of effort into drawing. It's just like, hey, as long as you can make, like, a picture that's similar to represent what you're talking about, doesn't matter how good it is. It's like, here, here's a tree, here's a stick figure. This person walked up to this tree. You can tell what they're talking about. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, 
Okay, we got to the creepier part of this. Get one out. Get one out. God. Is this where he has to face what he did to his daughter, not just his wife? Because I'm assuming daughter. It could be a son. I'm just saying daughter because this kind of feels daughter-esque. But it could be son. What is that? Wait. What day is it? June? It's Sunday? You Night. mean I... Uh, well, why didn't you come and get me? God damn it! You know how I get when I'm caught up in my work! Happy fifth birthday. Oh. That child wasn't even in first... First grade. It was like kindergarten. Telling her she can't make herself a pink horse. I mean, I get if you if you want to train the next Picasso or something like that. Maybe encouraging words one way or the other, but... My God, the way you did it was like you were trying to talk to... Okay, whatever. What the heck was that? Was that a skate? There was a mouse. Okay. Marriage uh, marriage and kids. Marriage guide. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, that's that's easy to say. People can't expect the unexpected. Uh, the new book about Molly Pierce is a must-read for parents who are experiencing their first child and want to create a happy, healthy environment for the baby. Order now and receive a set of motivational tapes strong enough. Volume 1 and 2. Cool. There is no book. There is no anything that gets you ready for children, but it's awesome. Aww. She, it's just like, she's in the middle of like a field and the child's like, here, let me give you a tree and a sunshine. Why is she eating a tree, though? <laughs> is this supposed to be broccoli? Mom made me eat my broccoli. I don't like broccoli. I love broccoli, actually. Hey! I was not done in there. Let me back. Was that mice standing outside of there, or were those bottles? Did anybody see? Yeah, that's right. During the thing when it said daughter, they said that, uh... Getting custody of your daughter, D-A-U. It would not have been son. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Confirmation? I have found the music again. <laughs> Baby shoes. Sweet Jesus. Jesus! Did you just buy half of the department store? Honey, you don't even know yet if it's going to be a boy or a girl. That's a normal response, though. Uh-oh. Oh no, we lost our furniture. It's been repoed by the crayon man. Dude. Hey, if this is her drawings though, I'd say she's improved. Do I need to do anything with this? Obviously I'm not not gonna try and fix it. That's a long way up. Okay. Book. Um I had to move all of the dolls out of her room. It was getting ridiculous. I can't just throw gifts in, at her whenever you feel guilty for whatever it is you feel guilty for. She needs a father, not another useless distraction. Okay, and that's for, that writing says it happened after the fire. That's true. Did he, like, get absorbed into his work to try and, like, ignore... Okay. The, <laughs> the problems of... Oh, oh. Okay, anyway, um, lice, mice, bold hair, nuth, not tink, hold on, lice, mice, bald, bloody spots, hair, not mine, where are all the scissors? Is this, this an attempt at rhyming things? Is this a poem for him? What is going on? I think maybe he just got absorbed in his work because he couldn't cope. That's, that is a coping mechanism. It's not a good one, but it is a coping mechanism. 
how old was the daughter when the fire happened? Because obviously the daughter was here, but between her being pregnant and when her daughter was five years old, the fire happened. That's that's all we got. What the heck is that? There's something pulsing on that wall. Let's go this way. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Let's go this way. <laughs> Never mind. But every time I look at it, my vision warps. Wait, when I find it, did it just... Oh, that thing is definitely pulsing. Am I supposed to be looking for things? Apparently I am. Are we playing a game? A game within the game? Hey! I'm not picking all those things up! That's the room. That's the room we came in. This is the creepy area. All right, let's go. Oh, those are chairs. Okay, we'll, we'll check. We'll check down here first. I come in. Uh. Oh, that's a fancy big watch. Nope. What's this? Near the blueberry bushes by the Emerald Creek. There once ha there once lived a duck who was a bit of a freak. Lived okay, gotcha. Not content to just splash away in the rivers. She liked tearing out hearts and chewing on livers. What? Please tell me you didn't send this to your this is not a story you made for your daughter, is it? That is morbid AF. Dude. Talking behind their backs. Flowers. Okay, there's whispering in here. That means there's something in here for me to find. Can I light these guys? Nair? I heard whispering. I don't hear it anymore. Where's my thing? I wish to have I wish to have a piece of paper. I'm making a collection. Levitating crayons. And Tigers and I used to have tea parties. She would give me tiny, tiny cups of tea that were obviously empty, and I would sip on it and go, Hit! "You gave me the hiccup tea again," and she'd giggle like hell. Okay. It does seem like we might have a crayon problem. A bit more than even a mouse problem. There might be a bit of a crayon problem. Have you considered putting those inside a box? It's a whole lot of blue. How much joy, whenever you were a child, did you get anytime there was like a brand new box of crayons? Just the fact that you could open them up and all of the tops of them were sharp. Um, there was a doll over here that did this. What is going on? I really like the fact that this guy is living in the Matrix. Can I walk through these? Yeah. Just get all of them moving in different directions here. Let's run into them really fast. just disappeared off that wall. I saw that. I saw that. I thought there was whispering over here. I thought I needed to come over here and find a page or something, but ne'er. Unless maybe the whispers don't mean there's a page or something, which is entirely possible. Okay, let's go. Freaking baby doll in the middle of the room. <laughs> hmm. 
My goodness. All right, all right. That was that was. Yeah, let's go this way. <laughs> oh boy. How many rooms do you have inside of your house? And how many of those rooms have got containers that look mysteriously like alcohol beverages? Okay. We're just gonna say it again. Those dolls are creepy. Did did someone like paint those dolls here or something? Is that is that what this is? That's creepy. Yep, definitely, definitely okay. This is fine. It's fine. <laughs> Okay. Is it just me or are more of them appearing every time I turn my back? Like that one's just like not even hiding it, it's hovering. Okay. <laughs> All right. You know, if this is actually just a haunting, I don't know what he did to his daughter, but I'm gonna say he probably should apologize. My goodness. That is a whole lot of anger inside a tiny person. It's assuming she was still five years old when whatever happened happened. What is this? That is so damn smooth. Whoever designed this game, that is so damn smooth. Oh no. Okay. Let me do the creepy doll section. We have a creepy doll section. Are we supposed to be following the doll or avoiding the doll? What are you looking at? What the hell? If I just stand here, is it going to do the same thing it just did? Okay, I have to move. Gotcha. Alright, let's try following the doll. Okay, don't follow the doll. Oh my god. Oh no. That was not okay. Dong. <laughs> I've been there, I've done that. Oh geez, my hair again. Okay, well, I have to remember which way to go. Oh you don't I have to do that twice. Don't do that. Okay. Uh, the tiny little corners. What's going on? All right, I feel like I'm just being led in a circle. Let's go this way. Cool. Okay. 
That's not creepy. That's not creepy at all. happen I guess we were done it oh no done in that section uh, okay there is whispering but I don't I don't see anything I'm supposed to be finding though this crap oh, oh, oh I'm sorry princess no 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 don't cry we'll get you a new one or, or better yet daddy's gonna buy you another dolly uh, so your other dollies can have a new friend oh boy is that what I was supposed to find in here oh no Dude, there's absolutely nothing worse than stepping on a Lego. I'm just gonna say. Okay, can we have some light, please? Ah, cool. I had the most beautiful dream last night. I dreamt he came to me, embraced me, loved me, as he once did. But... We both know that while I dreamed my silly little dream, it was you, it was you he really lusted for. Was there another woman? I don't know, things are melting again? Okay. You know at that rate we should just turn you into a printing press. Do I need to go in there with her? Ah, I see. I see there's definitely a, a thing in a, a thing. Cool. <laughs> I don't know what that was that just yelled, but no. I would rather stay in here! Well, like Demon Hill spawned down the hallway, is there? Nah, okay. It was probably just someone's stomach. We haven't eaten in a while. Someone's a bit hangry. Since the same hallway that his wife's room was on, we just kind of walked by it a minute ago. It was like that room. Is this the same hallway? I feel like in a drunken stupor, he's just wandering. I mean, she did say she was going to turn into a monster. Yes, give up like always. I think she gets angry when she's hungry. Where's the wolf? I have no idea. If you tried giving her a Snickers, you could just slide it underneath the door. A bag of jerky? I'm not sure that they had Snickers back in the day, you know? Okay, door. Oh, look at this nice, oh my gosh. Could turn down the brightness. Okay, every time we walk in, it's like, whoa, my eyeballs. Okay, well, let's just see if we can't find some stuff and things in here. Maybe she's hiding some secrets too. Give me that drawer. Focus, dude. Okay, sad. Apple tree. Shadow dude. Cool. Uh, was there anything on the back? Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Give it back. Nope, it's not letting me turn it over. Ah, no! I clicked out of it again. I didn't click on anything stupid, did I? Okay. Um. 
Train? Wait. What was that? Oh. Mommy and daughter out in the sunshine doing the stuff and the things. An angry dude in there painting a painting. Okay, you gotta focus, dude. Focus for me, please. Okay, that one just did not stay open. All right, what are we doing in here? Is it like I swallowed a mouse. Oh, I suddenly have a key. Is that what I picked up as a key? Don't think I volunteered for this room. I can't look around, it's just making me look. Oh, all the toys are coming to life. Things are defying gravity. Okay. Yeah, there's some serious crap going on. We were supposed to speed up going in circles or something. Now we're gonna do a slideshow. She was in a wheelchair? Little baby night is stark. She looks like she's DJing. Stayed spa star spade above the room goes dark. Oh my gosh. Mommy used to come to tuck you in. That looks like a final boss. Now she's nowhere to be seen. Oh no, where did she go? What happened to her? Out of curiosity, I, I know we talked about which year this was supposed to be set in, but was like this in the year where if your wife wasn't okay, they could send you to a sanitarium just for being unruly? Because there were day and ages where that kind of thing kind of happened in some of the upper tier families. At least that's what I have read. I don't know for sure. Yeah, maybe that's the case. Maybe she's not actually gone gone? I don't know. It's more of me just trying to hope that maybe she isn't gone gone. Oh my gosh. The puppy, though. Oh. Fluffy fakers mocking me, still lying between toys not allowed. No toys allowed. You took all of her toys because you thought the mice were hiding in there? This was a special brush. Like a horsehair brush, but different. At that point, I hesitated. Will this really work? Fuck it. I was already halfway through, and besides, it's not like I can just put it all back and forget the whole thing. Did you take your daughter's hair? I mean, like, did you cut your daughter's hair to make your brush? It begs to differ. It begs the qu- Okay, shut that. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that was obviously the wrong door! Ah, this is the right door. This is the one I meant to open. Okay, cool. Just like the toys and Poltergeist. You know what? It's been so long since I've watched Poltergeist. I kind of want to go back and watch that. Like the original Terrify the Hell Out of You movie, in my opinion. You know, this has got to be hazardous, especially to somebody who's got like a prosthetic leg. If it got stuck on anything and you didn't realize it because you couldn't feel the pressure on the top of your foot. Still haven't gotten my table back. <laughs> Take of it. Uh, I hate you even now. Lost, alone, hopeless. You have always been alone. You will always be hoping a grave error finish it. Okay. Um, hold on, was there anything else in there? Dolls. Okay, so now we've got a... What do we think it's going to look like this time? Because right now it looks like a, a train wreck with Pizza the Hut. And some sort of bouffant hair. There's kind of a hint of like an eye right here, I think. Maybe a mouth. What do we got? Okay. 
Okay. I mean, I didn't know you were into zombie art, but sure. I mean, there's probably a lot of people that would play, pay do top dollar for something like this. It's a little macabre, but I mean, sure. So hey, I, I actually guessed hair. I kind of figured that. But what on earth are these two going to be? Do we have enough time to continue on with... Yeah, we should be able to do one more. I don't know how long each of these chapters are, but I think we got enough time to do another one, right? Gone. All right, all right. Okay. Prior army? Yeah. A long, long time ago. Over 20 years ago, actually. Are we slowly furnishing the room the more I go in here? What's going on? Zombie! Thank you so much for the now prime sub! Thank you, thank you. Hold on, we got a letter? I can't see it, though. Save the date. Celebrate their wedding Saturday, 9th of June at St. Luke's Chapel. Remember the date. 9th of June was their anniversary. Who's making that noise behind me? Okay, you do you. Can you not put paint everywhere? I mean, I like I understand hobbies and... Quite frankly, I probably have my gardening stuff everywhere right now, but it's kind of the off-season. I don't have any place to put it. I don't really want to go in there. <laughs> you can't make me. I'm not doing it. Okay. It's another one of those times where I probably... I barely even saw that sitting here. So I'm supposed to be looking for a key? I, I don't really want to do that. I'm good. Ah, I hear some light. Going in circles. Yeah, I noticed. I am going in circles. We've seen this before. Last time we see that we saw that, we had to go the other way. Maybe I should try going the other way. Air Force? Nice. Thank you so much for your service. I appreciate it. Alright, let's try in the room. Can I turn that back on? We kind of would like to see. Thank you. Delirious, easy to forget, drunk, going in circles, waste of time. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Uh, remember each mistake. Yeah, it's very, very hard not to do that one. You spend a lot of time. You could spend your entire life going over the mistakes you made earlier in life, and sometimes you just have to be like, you know, every single human is growing as a human, and sometimes you just have to walk away from your mistakes and say, I can do better now, and I can be a different person. Instead of just being this. It seems like he's just kind of stuck. Oh, come on. Restless memories. Dude, is this whole game because you're having a hard time moving on, but everybody else is already gone? Like, uh... How many... Given the fact that we've seen some places that look like this, is he just kind of drunk and delirious walking through his old mansion and his wife is gone, his daughter's gone, there's nobody there? Make up your own mind. Is that what that says? <gasps> do the thing. Can I do it? Can I do it? No! I have to do this. You have taken away every single thing that makes me happy in life. I need to be able to... <laughs> you have to... You have to do the globe, dude! Alright, what's this? He's on about damn rats again. I don't think I've seen one, but that does not stop him from laying out traps all over the place. He claims that he can hear them in the walls, and that there must be hundreds of them. God, I hope it's true. I hope they crawl out in the night and eat you in your sleep. You're cruel, self-obsessed, pathetic drunk. That's a bit harsh. I mean, it may be accurate, but it's, it is harsh. I guess sometimes reality is harsh, too. So, let me buy. <laughs> that was probably rude, but okay. Well, I made that choice. Is that bear carrying a bloody hammer? 
that's just wrong. I mean, there was even a there were, there's a trap in there, and that thing just like there's, there's a torch, screwdrivers. Was he a mounting an entire assault? Because there's like an old timey pistol in there, a bear with a hammer, a torch. Yep, the mice are taking over. They are definitely taking over. They were amassing tools and everything. Yep. Uh, and, oh, okay. Well, we've, we've done that, haven't we? Okay. It's the DIY panda? Yeah, apparently. Okay. Hi. What are you doing, little mousey? Okay. I hope that was not intentional. The mouse wasn't underneath there, was it? No, okay. The mouse is still alive. Are you leading me to my death? That's an entirely possible thing. Oh, hang on. How are you doing today, Reaper? Have you gotten any of that cold temperature yet? I assume it's probably snowing there too, huh? Okay, where are we going, Mousy? Sorry, you've picked the wrong phobia with me. I don't have a problem with mice. If it was spiders, we'd have to have a conversation, but... Hey! You know, I would blame the mouse for all of that, but honestly, this place is just not well kept. You really can't blame the mouse. Dog, cat, rat. Okay, hang on. Wait, what? Okay. I'm assuming I have to solve this in order to get through that, but which one? I'm assuming we followed the rat, right? 687? Uh, well, I've already gone too far that way now. Huh. Okay, so 687 was not the right one. Okay. I would figure there would be like another hint, you know? I mean, I could try the cat, the dog, and the rat. What do you think? When am I playing? I am playing Layers of Fear. No snow yet, but it's on its way. Maybe it's cat for cat and mouse? Okay, let's try that one. Okay, hold on. We... Just so we don't wind up accidentally trying the same one over and over again, let me write down what we tried the first time, just in case this is a little bit more complicated. Rat was 687, right? Hang on. 341? Ah, it was cat. Okay. Do we think that this puzzle is going to come into play later on? Should we write down dog in case we need it next time? 259? That's probably overkill. We probably won't need it, but just in case. I'd hate to have to walk all the way back here, you know? Especially since hallways change. <laughs> just go ahead and write it down. Oh. Hey! hey. You look thirsty. Why don't you get hydrated? Oh, now you're getting a little bit on the creepy side. This looks like a mix between... Oh my god, you did not have to combine it with a spider. Is this the source? <laughs> yes. It's a spider rat. Spider rat, spider rat. Does whatever spider rat can do. People are banging on things inside the house. Why? I'm out here. Looks like some BS from the movie The Thing. Where the heck are we now? It's a freaking octagon room. 
<laughs> we have found the boss rat. Is that a shadow? This is the rat that all of the other rats bow down to? Is there something in this mess of stuff that I'm supposed to find? Oh, look at it, he's a sleeping mousy! Okay, are we just... alright. I mean... I If there's something in here, I have completely missed it. I did not see it. Did anybody else see it pop up like where I could touch something? It's one of those art pieces. It looks like all the stuff mishmashed together, but then the shadow throws some kind of coherent scene. Yeah, like on uh, Resident Evil, Biohazard, I think, did it first. I think there might have been other ones that did it, but Biohazard, it's like you were supposed to turn the statue a certain way, so it made an image to match up with something. Ah, floor creepers, traps in the floor, devouring my foot, afraid to walk. <laughs> My contrarian butt whenever somebody tells me to do something. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I don't think I want to do that. How big is this house? Yeah, exactly. You figure he'd have to be like, he's had a serious bender or something like that. And in his dreams and in real life, he's just stumbling around his house, walking aimlessly. And it's like all the corridors just kind of run into each other. But it's because he's so lit that he just really cannot focus. Like forgetting why, you know that feeling of walking into a room and forgetting why you walked into the room? Gotta do it. Where are we landing? I'm not doing the, I'm not sure why I'm doing this like some, I'm playing Wheel of Fortune. Right in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, you say. Hawaii? Maybe? Didn't we start all this at like 12 o'clock or something? I'm pretty sure there was a clock at some point. I've already forgotten what time was on there. I feel like we have lost our mouse friend. I'm pretty sure this dude's okay with that, but, you know, kind of miss it. Is this how the house looks now? Is, has he really just lived inside this house, drifting, and the house has just fallen apart? And he's like some ancient thing hobbling around his old estate, remembering what was inside some drunken haze. Years and years after his wife and his daughter are gone because they just left. Uh, sorry, I haven't written to you a while. It's I've been swarmed with work. I gotta tell you, your last letter was troubling to say the least. I can't believe she would set fire to your old paintings. Why would she do that? The Lady in Black especially. That was your tribute to her, wasn't it? I don't know what to tell you except to get her some professional help pronto. I would probably talk to someone as well with what's been happening. I'm sure it would do, do you some good. I probably don't need to tell you that the buyer was sorely disappointed with the news. The, be the new pieces just aren't selling as well as the classics. Anyway, I'll keep looking. You just have to hang in there and focus on your work. I know you still have it in you. I believe in you. Your friend and agent, Thomas Caldwell. You probably should have just pushed it. Oh, he says, I don't. She burned his old work? Lady in black. That was his tribute to her. Was an actual portrait of her. Now, this was by the front door, wasn't Fucking it? Mutt won't shut up! Hey, I can do that too. <laughs> See? But can you paint? No? Well, that's all right. Neither can I, apparently. It happens after too much vodka, just saying. I don't know, I've had vodka. I've never had that issue. I mean, like, seriously. The last time you drank a couple of things of vodka, the, 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 the accordion painting happened to you? <laughs> Can I go in here? Is this a new hallway? Are we adding to my house? Oh. Now I'm so I was supposed to say, now I'm surrounded by- Okay, you gotta stop doing that. Okay. What 
what just happened? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, I guess we've already been through this one because this one was opened. Um, so that painting wasn't even inside this room, though. What the heck, dude? Okay. Canvas crawlers poisoned to paint massive pulsating fur fire final solution. Okay, well... What, what is the... What is the actual painting, though? Did he actually burn his paintings and blame it on his wife? Because he just said, she burned all your paintings, but now he's saying fire is the final solution. This is kind of gross. Is it all worth it? I don't think so. It's a very... slimy room. It showed his wife inside a wheelchair. I'm going to assume that it wasn't just like superficial injuries that she had with the burns. It was like a full body burn. Okay, well, that's cool. Ew. If that's a couch, it's drooling? I don't think it's supposed to do that. Okay, okay, can I see? Let me see! Yeah, that. While it's true that some artists progress beyond their times and thus become incomprehensible for contemporary critics, it is my opinion that this is simply not the case. While it hurts me to say this, Blank hasn't progressed. I would go as far as to say that if anything, we were witnessing an artist regression. If you do! Oh, it is actually moving. Poke it with a stick. Don't stick your finger in there. Hey there, princess. What? Oh, this is daddy's medicine. Whenever daddy's hurting, this helps the hurt go away. No, don't touch that. Oh, God. I'm so... Wait, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Damn. I don't miss, wish to be insensitive, but weak men go for the drink. Weak women go for the drink, too, so... You must handle the stuff and the things in real life. That's part of real life. It sucks. We all have to do it, but you have to do it. Uh, it, the absolute urge to want to poke it is honestly there. I don't know why. It's like the underlining of it is the one that's pulsing the stuff on the top, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know what I need a crank for. Is this uh, Resident Evil? What's we doing with it? It is so dark in here. There's clothes. Oh no, mousy. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Do you see that? <clears throat> okay, what is this? A little pain goes a long way. Am I breaking something? <laughs> What's going on here? Was I supposed to do something with this? Okay. Alright, we should be able to operate the door, right? the hell are we going this time? This set of memories or whatever have been very, very discombobulated. I have no idea. Okay. Okay, bye! There's another one. Okay, let's do this. 
All right, what kind of memory have you got for me today? All right. We are hunting for some sort of a hint about something. Wow. Oh no, little dude. We need to fix him, he's upside down. He could fall out. Given, <laughs> given the physics of this area, he might literally fall out of the painting if he is upside down. Okay, was there seriously- okay, there's- There's nothing I was supposed to do in here, though? Okay, I, I feel like there has been two rooms I have missed something important. This is like the second room I haven't found something I was supposed to do anything in. Was that what I was supposed to do? That was kind of creepy. The only way I saw her was in the shadow. Are we going up or down? Okay, there's blood on that side. Can we go this way? Maybe? The tar has taken over the entire building. It's weird though, because it makes me want to play Prey. <laughs> Seeing that all over the place. Oh. We have found the red floor. Um. Oh. is very angry. Um. Oh, what, these, what is this? This way? Okay. Okay, we go this way. Dude, can you focus your eyeballs? I kind of completely understand that problem, though. I don't like the fact that we're doing this and every time we do, stuff from up there falls on the glass. We were just in this room. Did I backtrack somehow? Okay, clock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. Horror ran down. Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> okay, I hate to be the one to tell you this. You're just a creepy old man. I mean, not to be too harsh about it or anything, but you're a drunk, creepy old man. Who apparently is very, very sorry for all of the stuff and things that he did. And is walking aimlessly around a house. Almost as, as if you are the ghost haunting this place. What is this? Okay. Oh, I you can know, pick up this. 
Even though you are my rival and the source of all my sorrows, you're also the only one I can still talk to. The only one who will listen. I'm not sure if it's funny or merely pathetic. <laughs> Probably both. Who is she talking to? Okay. Apparently there's a bit of acid inside that room. You good? I think she's bathing in it. It may not be good. I'm pretty sure they put lead inside the paint back then. Should we have left her in there? I'm pretty sure she's just a ghost, so her bathing in lead paint probably not going to be a big deal, but still. Okay. We're going to do that again? Oh, no. Oh, I found a mouse. Did I just bend down and eat it? Some paintings simply defy words, let alone critique. The basic knowledge of the subject is absolutely must. If, if one is to even try taming them, baby faces one such painting. This art anomaly draws tens of thousands of mediocrity, mediocrity enthusiasts and Sunday abstraction aficionados. In reality, it looks like the results of a week-long art marathon and not a lot of very well-adjusted painter lock in the dark basement, leaving aside the horrible execution and painting excels in the hideous. This is what happens when artists were trying to meme before memes became a thing. 363? He's even conspicuously looking at 363. Let me write that down. Because I won't remind I won't I won't I won't remind it later. Yes. Ooh, secret passage? You have a secret passage in here? Cool. Talk to me. Why won't you talk to me? Don't mess up or you have to do it all over again. D What am I hearing now? Is there another book? Oh my gosh! This is the building that never damn ends. Okay, now. You know, I don't actually want to talk on the phone enough to try and figure out how to get all the way up there to get that. I don't need to know about my car's extended warranty. Oh, okay, of course. Let's go this way instead. Never mind, forget the phone. Okay. Ah. We're in Labyrinth. Cool. Okay. You promise. I don't know if there was a new code. Did that do anything? Am I supposed to be finding new digits? 853. <laughs> okay. Uh. 8. 5. 3. 3. That did not work. I guess it did. All right. Did I just push that down for other me to find? Oh my God. We're not going to do that, are we? This solves nothing. It never has. It never will. <laughs> Color ID, yeah. Has never will. Are we looking for new numbers? Yes, we are. Hold on. Didn't that fall earlier? 
three five four. Four. Did that work? Yes, it did. Oh, man. Awesome. Now we're going into the gates of hell itself. <laughs> you could just not do that again. That's fine. Um... Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Why is this vibrating? Okay, it was just a book that was trying to figure things out. Uh, do we go back? Ooh. Okay. Is that a no? Oh, my other spots have disappeared. Sure, we can all just call the wing crates attached to some rusty chains. Yes, it's definitely... This is definitely safe. Okay, are we back in reality or are we still going crazy? I mean, I don't think we're going to stop going crazy. Oh, there it is. Uh, give me just a second, dude. We're back inside a room, so if you want to tell me about my car's extended warranty, you're going to have to wait for it. You deserve this. All of it. All of it. All of it. All of it. Oh, it's melting. Okay. Okay. I needed something to add the... How should I put it? Final touches. A finger. I needed a finger. Chopped it off, easier than sawing a leg. Washed it, dried it in an oven. Fell asleep, almost burned it. Will I manage to pull this off? You do know you're equipped with a finger, right? It's called smudging. People in art do it all the time. What kind of cracker are you on, dude? Oh my lord. Where did he get the finger? Trial and error. Ah, we're back. Okay. Ah, I love what you've done with the place. This, this is very crazy. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Let's see what's done here. I used to hate you even now. You must feel lost, alone, and helpless. Finally realize you always will be the quintessential part. There is still a way. Finish it. All right, let's find out what we do with the painting this time. Uh, we've got Zombie Dude, we had Pizza the Hut, and before that we had Murder of Flamingos, I think. <laughs> I don't know. You nearly overcooked a finger? Yeah, exactly. Alright. Are you trying to paint your wife? Is that what this whole thing is about? Because I actually see full-on essence of person in this one. Wait, is he trying to, through his mess messed up memory, paint his wife the way she was before she got burnt? Is that- is that what this whole thing is about? Whose finger and blood and skin did you- Okay, whatever. You know what? You know what? This dude belongs in a mental institution. Totally in a menstrual in menstrual institution. Exactly. Menstrual institution. What on earth are we possibly looking for now? We've got flesh and blood and bone, hair and finger. Oh, thank you so much for the follow! Lord Pong Linus. Thank you so much for the follow. I see what you did there. I don't know, he got a finger so he could smudge things like he doesn't own his own fingers, his own set of fingers. It doesn't make any sense, but you know, I mean, we've only seen 5,000 brushes and obviously he's got enough brushes. I have no idea what to expect for the last one. That's crazy. But I think after thinking about everything that we've heard so far, I'm assuming since she was at one time his muse, or I'm pretty sure that's what he called her was the muse, he's trying to paint a picture of his wife before the accident. I think is what he's attempting to do. 
And the reason why the wife is so angry is because he's spending so much time thinking about the way she was instead of the way she is and being connected to where they, they are now. So I think that's like the major problem is he's so stuck in the past and she's ready to move on. Now, I don't know what's happened because apparently he's trying to get a uh, custodianship of his daughter. I don't know if anything happened to his wife. Like maybe she passed from her injuries eventually or if she jumped off of a cliff in Minecraft. I don't know what happened. Oh, well, this is, this is going to be fun, right? You're currently trying to get as many games downloaded as you can fit on your PC. I, I would like to try and get a larger SSD to eventually download more games at once. So I've got more of an array, especially whenever we hit 15,000 subscribers over on my YouTube channel. If you are new here, guys, go over to my YouTube, More To Me For Life over on YouTube, my main channel, and hit that subscribe if you haven't done so yet. We are very, very close to another 12 hour stream. But in that one, we will be multi-streaming to YouTube and Twitch. I will live stream to the main channel and then, uh, what is it, unlist the VOD and then move the VOD over to my VOD's channel so that it will also be there. But I have decided we'll go ahead and stream over there as well. And uh, yeah, we're, we're going to try and figure that out. Speaking of which, I need to get some more peppers for that hot sauce. Uh, you sent me a recipe for because I'm not sure that I want it to be pure peppers, because that's that's a whole lot of heat. Left or right, guys? <laughs> You're getting them all downloaded while you have internet. Yeah, that's true, that's true. If it changes over your internet and your speed is like all wonky, you probably do need that downloaded. I feel like if I go that way, it's going to shut the door. There's no door here, is there? I hate the fact that you have to choose and it blocks off one way and you might miss like some lore. Okay, I feel like we just went around in circles. That's fine. There's just like a... Oh. Oh, wait. I'm... Huh? Okay, we were back in the same place. I don't know how that happened. All right. Oh, no! The room full of paprika! These guys really love their paprika. Oh, it's a letter. We're running out of apples. Man, not the apples! Dude's apples are good. Have you looked in here? Did they collapse the table with the amount of apples? Have you considered maybe you have too many apples? There's no way somebody can eat all this. You'd have to turn it into like applesauce or something. Mmm, homemade applesauce would be good. I don't have apples in my yard. But my, my channel is called Hidden Harvest, so if I put apples in my yard, it's very, very obvious that it's apples. But then again... Having a mixture of well-known things uh, aside next to things that are not well-known means that they'll go for the well-known and leave the not well-known alone. It's kind of the thing that I'm going for. Uh -huh. Fog? No fog. Fog? No fog. Fog? No fog. Cool. <laughs> Sauce pie, ciders, preserves, apple butter. Yeah. Apple pie. Oh, apple pie sounds so good. It really does. There once was a man full of passion, but then his wife went out of fashion. Her face was a mess and he couldn't care less. She hated the man with a passion. You use the same words. You can't do that. I'm not sure what word you would substitute that for, but you're not supposed to do that. Ah, she's just upset because she changed and he couldn't cope. Wow, what happened to that picture? Uh, that's what I, it sounds like. Uh, do you have any more lore for me? Aside from, you know, bad poetry. Let me check your drawers! <laughs> okay, nope. Nope, 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 that's just creepy. Can I actually go back? Nope. <laughs> That cannot be an accurate photo. I don't want to go in here. There's obviously weirdness going on. I see that. And the fog is back. Awesome. There's a bit of a fly problem. It's The flies are actually playing in the gas that's happening back behind the picture. Oh. Uh, it's a fly race. Zoom! Zoom! Okay, I don't want to go look at the picture. Can we not look at the picture? 
That picture's kind of creepy. And gross. The pet mouse. It's a very, very fangy pet mouse. Okay, I don't see anything. Jiggle it just a little. I don't think that's what they meant in the song, though. Are we doing the funny thing on my face again where I can't see right? I feel like we're summoning Cthulhu. Am I just supposed to stand over there? Okay. Jiggle it just a What am I supposed to do here? Do I stand on it? Okay. Well, that definitely cleared up my eyes. Why? <laughs> you mind explaining this to me? I know what it is. Care to tell me how it got in my workshop? Stop lying! We both know it couldn't have gotten there on its own. We'll call him George. Poor George. He didn't ask for that. Um, actually, he could have gotten into your workshop. Have you seen your workshop lately? It looks like garbage. And you've got flesh and blood and hair and somebody's finger. Oh, they're in the walls. Oh, that is creepy. His weird obsession with rats is just kind of odd. I didn't realize there was another door here. Aha. Now oh, the flies are back. Foolish mortal, do you know what you have done by summoning me here? I will lay waste to your world. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Get on with it. Got on with it already. Why is there like a little tornado of flies right here? Little PNGs of flies. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We're not going that way. Uh-uh. I'm not sure if I'm done running. Oh, we can go back that way now. Okay, did did this room collapse or something? Okay! <laughs> I hate to ask this because it's going to sound a little bit insensitive. Is that actually how he sees his wife now? That that thing, the, the grotesque monster that's actually coming towards him, is that how he sees her now? Or is this just like his imagination? Just like, I, I'm pretty sure the rats are part of his imagination. I don't think really he has an infestation of rats. Otherwise, all of the people he summoned at the beginning would have been able to find evidence of rats. And they have it. Hmm. Can we go out here to the courtyard? This seems much more pleasant. Yeah, it's a little bit sprinkly or whatever, but it could be worse. It could be in here. That sounded like a suppressed shot. Don't look back. Oh, now I have the major feeling of needing to look back. Try look back. How long can I not look back? Okay, I'm gonna have to gonna have to look back. You can't stop me. <laughs> oh, well, this is colorful. This is, I like what you did with the place. All the, all the bright, pretty colors with paint that looks like it's been, are you, you're using like oil paint and not actually like thinning it out at all. You're just like clumping it straight on there, are you? It's very impressionistic of you or, or whatever this is pop style paint. I don't I don't understand what you're trying to do here. So I feel about the same on the big red button. Do not push. Pushes it after seeing it for about 0.5 seconds. <laughs> finger painting to the... I don't know even sure that this was a finger. I don't think he used the finger on this. I think he just threw the can on the wall. This is what a tantrum looks like. Each mistake is a pitfall. Okay. I'm going to assume you didn't actually draw that. Oh, we could just not go that way. That's that's fine. 
okay, I guess we got to go that way. It really doesn't give you very many chances to just not, you know? It's like you've come through this door. You're stuck going through the pitfall whether you want to or not. Which, which way do we pitfall here? Okay, I'm just going this way. That sounded painful. Did I just run into a wall like that kid in, like, what was it, last episode? I need to pull that clip. That, that doll just running face first several times into the... into the shelf. What am I hearing? It sounds like there's something growling in the walls. That is... Creepy as hell. Okay, now I know what it is. <laughs> My bad. I don't think I was supposed to do that. I think I was supposed to leave the room. My bad. D I mean, there was something climbing through the walls and growling. I was just kind of curious. I thought I was going to a hole in the wall, not necessarily going into its mouth. But you hate it when you don't realize you're going into its mouth. Right, let's go this way. What the hell? Did we fall into the back rooms? This is where all of the paint goes. We're in Bendy and the Ink Machine now. Is Goofy gonna be here? Or what was Goofy's name in Indy and the Bink, ma Bink Machine? Indy and the Bink Machine. Bendy and the Ink Machine. <laughs> I think Bendy and the Ink Machine was probably about a tattoo artist and a contortionist. And it was probably not rated the same. Do I need to do something in here? I guess maybe, yeah. Hang on. Can I look at what I'm doing whilst I'm doing it? Hang on. Okay, we're bringing hell up with us. Sure. Why not? Really in the death baby from RE8? I don't know, RE8 just didn't make sense to me. I liked Bioshock. RE8 just seemed like a fever dream. Is there a reason I could do that? What's making the noise? Stop it! Okay, I don't... I brought it up, I can't do anything with it. Alright, sure. This just looks like a chase sequence waiting to happen. Can you ever paint any- can you ever paint anymore? Even paint anymore? Um. Okay, can we- can we not do that? I didn't know I was playing Portal! What is going on? Where's the Xenomorph? Yeah, no kidding. Fully expecting one of them facehuggers right now. Oh, now we're in Phasmophobia. Can I ask why your board is so thick? That's what she said. Okay, sure. Uh... I can move the thing. Are you here? I don't- I don't think this thing actually... Uh, here. Wait, are we playing a game where I've got to guess the letters? Um, apparently I am supposed to be guessing letters, but I don't... I don't know what I'm supposed to be guessing here. Is there something in here to tell me what the hell I'm doing? Dear sir, my wife would be thrilled to play at your wedding. Please give us a call tonight and we'll work out the details. Our number is 363-853. Hope to hear from you soon. Okay, that does not help. What am I doing here? Do you have a journal showing the names to anything? All of the journals that it shows me are back inside the main room. And I think the only thing it's talked about are like the names of doctors and 
his editor and stuff like that. I don't even know the daughter's name. It has never said the family name at all. Okay, this is silly. We're just gonna try and make a mortal call on a uh, three. Obviously, that's not enough room. But there, if this is an actual phone number the way it's written in the US, we're actually missing four digits, which would be a full number. It's potentially the right one, but I don't have the rest of the letter. Okay, maybe I have to go in here and the rest of it's over here somewhere? November, I think I should be happy. Why am I not happy? I have a beautiful daughter. I think she is. I know she is. So why can't I look at her without feeling sick? I used to have a loving husband, wonderful, sens sensitive now. All I see is this strange man who only cares about his paintings like they matter at all. It's also pointless. Music used to help. It doesn't anymore. Oh, she's she's sinking pretty good. She She's she's having problems coping. Um... I'm sorry, lady. You gotta suck it up. You're you're a mom. You have to suck things up. That's how that works. Kind of like a Hoover, only not in the rated X version of it. Okay. Okay. Why? Okay, I don't, I don't understand what just happened, but all right, let's go this way. Is this the same room again? Um, we can't go in there. Okay, I just keep activating things, but nothing's actually happening. It's just like distorting my view. Oh, okay. I'm so going to miss being able to fill that thing in. Do we see numbers in here anywhere? I hear whispers. Oh, hey. God, I am such an idiot. To think that someone like me could ever compete with you in all your sublime beauty, everlasting, immortal. That's the reason why I think she's actually jealous of the pictures. Because the, the pictures don't change, but people change. Um... Can I even backtrack back to that thing? No, dadgummit! How am I supposed to know that one? I have a feeling in this game you're supposed to play more than once because there's certain information you won't get until later. Oh, now I can come in here. Is that the old I picture of her? I figured it out. And it's all thanks to you. You've showed me that there's no other way. Even now, your sad smile confirms what should have been obvious. We will not speak again. How often do you go in there and talk to your pictures, ma'am? Okay. Yeah, we've already seen all these. Did I find all of her items? Is that what this was? If we got all of her information, I don't see any numbers here. That's not very helpful. I bet the board has things you could put in other than the combo. Yeah, the problem is, is knowing what those things are. I do have a feeling that there's probably a reason to do a secondary playthrough of this. I don't know that I will be doing one, but I think there's a reason to do one. And it's probably intentionally that way. So you can get more of the... ...story. Well, that's gross. Dude, how big is your house? Hey, the pictures are all fixed. Never mind, they're not. <laughs> nope, they're not. Ah, can we just not? Oh, this one's pulsing. Awesome. Vermin, groth, foul stench, cancer of the house. God, the sounds. Okay. Hey, we found a toilet. What is taking so long? Open this fucking door! I need to go! Open up! Hell is... Oh, God. No. No, 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 no. What have you done? No! Oh. 
that's the reason for him needing to get custody of his daughter. Well, now we have that answer. Eyeball? Okay. Uh, all right, we'll we'll go in. Where are we? Um it just became Somatica. How many times am I going to attempt to go down here? Oh, I have to keep my finger on it. I did it last time because I wasn't thinking about it, but apparently I do. Catch your breath, dude, because we're going to go in for... We're, go we're going in deep, okay? There we go. Must have dropped his full stash of something inside the bathroom. The other thing that he needs for his painting, somebody else's finger or toe or something. Okay. Might have stayed underneath there a little bit too long. Okay. You good? I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Oh, we always have to start back here. So I have to make the choice. Am I supposed to be seeing something before I finally pass out or do I let my character pass out? Okay. All right. Can, can we get out from over the tub then? You obviously can't hold your breath long enough to do whatever it is it wants us to do. Can, can I? Okay. No. No. Ah. Uh, you are forced to do this. Here we go. Oh, okay, apparently we saw that last one. Are we gonna see the doll run into the cabinet again? What's gonna happen if he stays underneath there too long? Maybe this. <laughs> I might have found out. That's what he said? Yeah, exactly. He's going to go back to his painting with a jar of dirt and a jar of water and say, yes, this is exactly what I needed in order to finish my painting. Oh no, we passed out at the bottom. Oh my gosh. At the bottom of the shower. I didn't look up at all. Finally, someone had to bear witness. I couldn't just look at my own work. Art and the artist needed an audience. A critical eye on things. I knew what I had to do. I gouged it. Scooped it up like ice cream. Felt like a butcher. A monster. But at least there was to come something beautiful from all this filth. Did you disassemble your wife? Is that what you're saying? Okay. No, oh, disassemble Stephanie. I don't think you're supposed to do that whenever you find your wife Minecraft jumped off of a high cliff into a bottle of water and uh, I don't think you're supposed to take her apart. You have some issues, dude. We need to talk face to face. See a psychiatrist. Actually, just go to a nut house because I don't think a psychiatrist can help you. Okay. Oh, we're doing this again. Okay, we're finding the stuff in the things. It's a full ghost baptism. Full ghost baptism into the ectoplasm, I guess. Uh, are we just finding pieces? Have you got a piece, dude? Are you hiding one? I don't see one. Oh. Well, that's fancy. Why, why are you doing these? Stop looking around. 
He's just slowly painting his vision. I'm not telling him to move. What was that? Okay. Yeah, I think Cthulhu's over there. I don't want to go over there and look at that. Why is there a coffee cup right there? see that. Was that, when I first looked up, was that over there? I have to give it to the person who created the game. There are definitely some really weird, surreal environments in this. Is my dude actually in the crazy house and this is just the stuff going on inside his brain? Okay, oh, uh, we're looking for more pieces. All right. I just kicked the teddy bear. No! I kick the teddy bears. Why is there a big rat in there? Why is my vision doing this? Okay, no, 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 stop, stop, stop your things, stop your things. Nauseating. Don't do it. Um. Okay. Was, was I only supposed to find the one? Is the person on this side kind of losing their patience with it? Do we have- oh, look at that artwork, dude. It's very... Evil Within 2. Only those are real body parts in that one. It's might creepier. Are, are we looking for another piece? Who's hiding the piece? Okay, oh no, my eyeballs are doing the thing again. Oh, there's another room. Hang on, wait, 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 stop looking to the side. Why are you doing this, dude? It's on the roof, too. Okay. Am I supposed to... Can you shush? Hang on. Can I interact with this thing at all? What am I supposed to be looking at? Very, very unsettling. Is the... Am I looking for another part? I'm probably looking for another part. Okay. How do I find it in this mess? Oh, there we go. Yep. Give. Okay. Can you just not spin my vision right round, baby? If you don't mind? I mean, no, that was, that's not what I was expecting, but all right. That's not how these pieces are supposed to move. Well, all the teddy bears are okay. Oh, well, this is getting a little bit more labyrinth, isn't it? Hang on, I must go kick the teddy bears. Watch them move. It's just really cool. Ah, don't, don't do the, don't do the random vision. Stop it, stop it. <sighs> okay, stop, 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 stop it, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Let's keep doing it. Why are there apples in the toilet? It's constantly like trying to do the spinny thing if I just let it go and I don't want it to do that. Oh, there's my part. Right there. Is there something else I was supposed to see though before I walk back over there? Okay. What else is up here? Oh, it's two! Okay. 
Are there any others? Why is there a train going through the- I can't say this is a living room. I don't know what the hell this is. What kind of decoration style do you think this is? I was thinking about doing something like this in my living room, but I think it would clash with all of my stuff. Okay. Somebody got really pissed about that last move. Now we've got the kitchen. Let's go look in the kitchen. Please don't do the spinny thing. Uh, there, no, 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 no. What is this? Why is it shining? Is that like a flat candle? That's confusing. Uh, in here? What did I... What is this? Why does it look like this random shape right here has arms? Uh, okay, it's a s- oh, okay, okay, it's a scale. Um, what, are we supposed to find a counterweight? Okay, all of the whispering started. Apparently I was supposed to find a different weight? Then why did it let me do it, though? If it wasn't the right one. What is going on back here? Hang on. Do I need to go around? You're not gonna do the spinny thing again, are you? There's something alive in the walls. Again. Okay. There's just got someone going in the walls. Have you guys ever had that problem? I think it might be dust mites. Uh, what do they call them? Dust bunnies? I'll be going a bit rabid. I haven't been fed in a while. I can't pick that thing up, so I think if it was a. It's going after an eyeball. Um, I think I probably already failed whatever that was because I didn't have the right weight. And this game seems to kind of be like, you you chose your own path, you don't get to change it. Okay, I just broke that by looking at it. Okay, we're, we're doing the cursing in other languages, sure. I don't think there's usually this many of those little chips floating everywhere, you know? Oh, that dude's back. Oh my gosh. What is this? We've seen it several times. I don't I don't know what this is. I want to walk in there to see what's going on, but I don't want the piano to stop. Where is that? It sounds like it's coming from over here, but I don't see anything. Okay. Now that is some energetic pianoing. I'm pretty sure that's not how you phrase it. All of the things are pulsing. Okay, cool. Okay. You know, I think after having to deal with something like that, I would just be flat out exhausted and need a nap. Wow. I have apparently missed a lot of pictures and I've been exceptionally thorough. Yeah, I really think this is one like you're supposed to play multiple times to get all of the information. I think I've done very well with those. Okay, what does this now say? I used to hate you, not anymore. I think even now, in spite of everything, I might still love you. You see, I, fi you s see, I finally understand. I know how you feel. How you must feel lost, alone. It took me a while, but I finally realized. Even with us, you have to have always been alone. I recognize that now as the quintessential part of your being, but even for you, there is still a way, a way to bring it all back, the only precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it, if only for yourself. 
Still missing part of the words. So obviously I didn't find everything. I mean, it's obvious I didn't find everything. So what do we actually get whenever we try to finish the painting? Wait, I painted yes. a dude? That's it. Now I thought I was painting I a woman. It. All this misery, all this suffering. There was no other way. And it was all worth it. Perfection. Immortality. That dude seriously has been painting himself. Did you really have to disassemble people in order to paint that? Isn't that a bit narcissistic though? I mean... Oh my gosh, look at his house. cause of all of his problems himself? Yeah, I would say that's probably the essence of what he was trying to say. But did he get that from his painting? That's what he wanted was immortality? Reach a conclusive ending. I don't know if that was a good ending or a bad ending, but he was trying to achieve immortality with his pictures? Is that what... He didn't actually confront his problems, though. He just wanted immortality with his pictures. That doesn't seem like he learned anything. He didn't say, yes, exactly, the cause of all of my problems. And he says immortality. The co problem he was having was is he hadn't achieved immortality with his paintings yet. Let's not talk about the fact that his wife decided to Minecraft jump off of a cliff or that his child is now probably in some home because he couldn't care for her. They want to be mo known, most artists do. I guess so. Everybody wants their 15 minutes of fame, I assume. But still, I mean, if you step back from that 15 minutes of fame and think that your actual immortality is your children carrying on your name, then you just do the best you can with your children and the rest takes care of itself. And sadly, most artists, most people who have actually reached people on a, on a deeper level with some kind of positivity, I'm only gonna... I'm not gonna fully bring that up, but if you guys know what that is, but anyway, I'm not gonna bring all that into it because I'm not gonna bring sad into it, but for those who touch people in more meaningful manners like humor, bringing them out of the muck, optimism, uh, positive things, those are much more lasting impressions and are be a lot better off in the long run, in my opinion. The the other side of that, where just like things are so totally unhealthy, I, I, there should re be repercussions for things like that happening, in my opinion. I don't know what those repercussions should be, but I think there should be repercussions for stuff like that.